Ah, uh, sweetheart, you're not dressed. Are you not joining me in church? No, I am really tired. You know I woke late last night. I want to rest. No, dear. That is not an excuse to stay back from church. Just go. I promise to come with you next time. No, my love. That is what you always say. I want to walk with you hand in hand to church today. Oh, you won't give up, will you? Today is the first Sunday of this month. We have to go to church and worship him for keeping us alive for so long and holding our marriage tight despite the ups and downs. Okay, go. I will attend the third service. No way. We will be attending all the services today. Ah, that means we won't be back until late in the evening. Exactly. It is what it. Go and get dressed. Let's go. But is there a way we could attend like three services? And then come back. I don't want to die of hunger. Okay then. We will come back after three services. You can rest because you have to go to work tomorrow morning. You see, if I go to church today, I would not have enough rest against tomorrow. You will rest at night. After all, God is the one keeping your life to do the work. Three services. Agreed? Yes, baby. Agreed. Okay then. Let me go get dressed. Man, that was wonderful. I enjoyed every bit of it. <laughs> I told you, you were here complaining that you were tired. I did not know today would be extraordinary. Other days are extraordinary too. It's just that if you don't go there with the mindset of worshipping God, you won't feel the impact of it. Okay, I think I would like to go there more often. Wow, I'm glad you enjoyed today's service. Yes, I did. And I feel like I have to be more closer to him now. Yes, my love. He is the only one that can keep our marriage going for a very long time. Whenever you want to go to church, take me along with you. I definitely will. Let me go and prepare something for us to eat. Do you need my help today? Not at all. I want to cook something very simple for us. Okay, I will use that period to work with my laptop. No, baby. No laptop today. You promised that weekend is only for family. I know, but while you are busy in the kitchen, I will just quickly check something. Okay then, let me change up. Young woman, so you are here. Good morning, mommy. I just finished my chores. I decided to rest here. You just finished with chores? My friend, will you get off from there with immediate effect? Mom, you can check. I've done everything already. You haven't done everything. Stop lying. What haven't I done in this house, Destiny? Or have you intentionally scattered the house again just to put me in trouble? Shut up your mouth and don't talk to my daughter like that. Why is my room not arranged? Excuse me? Can't you arrange your room yourself? And why should she arrange her room herself when you're here? Mom, I don't like this partiality at all. Destiny is old enough to also help me with some of the house chores. One more complaint from you and you will regret it for the rest of your life. She's here shouting she has done everything in the house. What about breakfast? Who would do that one? I didn't know what mom would like to eat. That was why I didn't make breakfast. My darling, what would you like to have for breakfast this morning? I don't know yet. When you've made up your mind, please do let her know, okay? Okay, mom. Mabel, go and arrange her room. You have a lot of things to do today. Do you hear me? I don't like this at all. Destiny should be able to arrange her room. Shut up your mouth, you ungrateful child. Now leave my presence. Mom, where is dad? I haven't seen him since I woke up. He went early to work today. Oh, okay. I'll be in my room then. Please decide on what to eat on time so we don't end up eating breakfast late, okay? Okay, mom. Charity, why is there no food in the kitchen? I don't understand. Do I look like your maid? Why haven't you cooked breakfast yet? I'm late for work. If you're late for work, then you go to work. What are you doing here? I'm not ready for your argument this month. 
go in and make my breakfast you are not ready to eat because if you are you would go in and make the breakfast yourself what has come over you charity what's your duty in this house oh so this is the reason why you have refused me from walking so you could turn me to a maid abby how could you say that i stopped you from walking because your job was too demanding you really had time for me shut up benjamin you liar what did you just say did you just tell me to shut up yes i told you to shut up and i will tell you again you told me to quit my job because of your own selfish interest i will let this slide but the next time you disrespect me again i will deal with you mercilessly you will not do nothing and you're just making empty threats oh really yes really you can do nothing okay then try this nonsense again when i come back and you'll see the ugly side of me <laughs> the ugly side of you i haven't seen abby i won't repeat myself again respect yourself or i will deal with you no come back and talk nonsense Welcome, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. I hope work wasn't stressful today. A little bit, but I'm used to it. So how was your own day? My day was fine as usual. I watched television all day. I haven't seen the children. Where are they? Destiny went to visit her friend, but Mabel is inside. Mabel! Mabel! Welcome, Daddy. How are you doing, my dear? I'm fine, Dad. How was work today? It was fine. What were you doing inside? Were you sleeping? No, Dad. I was washing at the backyard. You were washing? Why? You should have used the machine instead. But, Mommy told me to wash with my hands. No, my dear. I told you to use the washing machine. Maybe you didn't hear me correctly. No, Mom. I even asked for the washing machine, but you declined. Don't argue, Mabel. I told you to use the washing machine. Mabel, are the clothes still plenty? No, Daddy, I'm almost done with it. Okay, please hurry because I want to take you out for shopping. That means you have to wait for Destiny to come back. No, I want to take just Mabel out. Destiny has enough clothes, but Mabel doesn't. Thank you, Dad. Let me go back so I can finish on time. Okay, my dear. Thank you. What is the meaning of that, Fred? Why do you choose to take her out instead of your daughter? There is no big deal. Mebe is also my daughter. She is not your daughter. Fit yourself then. I don't have time for this. Wow, Charity, what a pleasant surprise. You didn't call to inform you were coming. Sorry dear, I was just around the neighborhood so I decided to stop by. That's so nice of you dear. Have a seat. Thank you. How about your husband? He has gone to work. He left very early today. Men and work. So dedication to their work. Yes, yeah, so he has to be dedicated and hardworking. Because that is what puts foods on the table. Exactly. But don't you think we should tell our husbands to let us work? I don't think my husband wants me to work. If not, he would have brought the idea up himself. Does he have to tell you before you know you should work? So what am I supposed to do? Tell him about it? Yes, now. Let's try and convince him to start a business for us. Okay. I will talk to him when he gets back. Let's see the first person to achieve the aim. Charity. I am not in any competition. I am not saying you are. I was just joking. What can I offer you? Anything to drink? Okay, dear. I'll be right back. Destiny! Where are you coming from by this time of the day? I don't understand. What kind of question is that, mom? Answer my question, young woman. But I told you before leaving the house to visit a friend. Since morning? Just look at the time you're coming back. What is wrong with it, mom? Am I too early? 
Is this the time you are supposed to come back to your house? Stop nagging. After all, I am here now. Where is dad? Maybe if you had come back earlier, you would have gotten the answer yourself. Just stop this unnecessary scolding. It won't take us anywhere. Your dad took Mabel out for shopping. Dad did what? He took that low life instead of me? That has been my anger since they left. Fred is just too stubborn. How could he do such a thing? I am his real daughter for God's sake. Well, I don't entirely blame him. Maybe if you had been in the house, he might have taken you with him. Don't even try to put the blame on me. Am I not old enough to go out anymore? You are old enough, Destiny. But try to always come back on time. Don't try to cover up for him. That is heartless. He hates me. Don't say that. You know he loves you. You were not available when he wanted to go out. I'm not happy about this at all. Talk to him or I'll do the talking myself. It's okay. I will talk to him when he comes back. You better do because he won't like my next action. Mind your words, young woman. That is your father you're talking about. I don't care. Welcome, honey. Thank you, my love. How are you doing? I should be the one to ask you that. You look stressed. Today was really hectic, but I thank God I succeeded in my project. Oh, glory to God. I cooked your favorite meal. I am really hungry after the whole presentation. You see, you treated us to a feast. Baby, you know I don't like it when you reject my food. I am not rejecting your food. I am only trying to tell you that I won't eat much. Okay, least I forget. Charity stops by today to say hi. That was nice of her. Did you go anywhere today? No, I've been home all day. Okay, honey. Okay. Um, babe, I have something to discuss with you. Go ahead, I am all ears. No, no. You are tired. We will talk about it later at night. Why not go in and freshen up while I serve your food? Okay, dear. Babe, you said you have something to discuss with me. Yes. I think you should rest some more. You still look tired. Don't worry, I cannot be tired to the extent of not giving you a listening ear. Okay. Um, babe, I was thinking, maybe it's high time I find something doing. At least, to support the family. You want to work? Yes, baby. I'm tired of staying at home. I want to start a business of my own. Hmm. It is a very nice idea. I have actually thought about it. Really? So what do you have to say? Am I permitted to? My love, you know I would like you to work. But I don't have enough money to start up a business for you. It doesn't have to be a huge amount of money. At least something small to hold on to. I know, but you know how things are in this house. I cannot afford to pay shop rent and also buy the content for the shop. Okay then, since we can't afford to start up a business, then I can work for someone. Sweetheart, I totally appreciate your efforts to support me in this family. But don't you think working for someone will be too stressful for you? There is nothing I can do. I can't sit at home all day doing nothing. It's okay. I will look for a job for you. At least one that will permit you to have time for me. Don't worry, honey. I'll go to the post office tomorrow morning. Hmm. Okay. Destiny, no one is dragging your father with you. Where did he take you to? And where are the things he bought for you? What kind of a question is that? So I'm supposed to give account of my outing with dad. Don't you dare call him dad. Because he is not your father. He is my father too. At least he treats me like his daughter. So go kill yourself if you want to. I want to see everything he bought for you now. As what? Daddy's personal assistant. I bet if I report you to mom, you will change this harsh tone of your voice. What is really your problem, Destiny? Why can't you leave me alone? As long as you remain in my father's house, I will not let you be. Leave my room. I want to be left alone. Oh, really? Okay then, watch me and see. Mabel, what did you do to my daughter that is making her tear up? Dad bought those things for me and not her. So why didn't you give it to her if that is what she wanted? You ungrateful child, that man that bought those things for you is her father and she has every right to ask for it. He is my father too. I'm giving you 10 seconds to take whatever my husband bought for you to Destiny's room.
to have a conversation with you. What's wrong with you this morning? Can't you greet? So Benjamin, if you greet me, you will lose your mantle as man. You came to see me here, and it is still very early in the morning. The least thing you could do is greet me a good morning. Ah, Oga, okay. it is this pride that will kill you one day. Mind you, I'm not in a good mood this morning. And if you run your mouth one more time, I will cut it off for you. Then no burn you well. Benjamin, the day you feel you have eaten enough, let your hand touch me. Get out of my side. I came here to have a discussion with you and you must listen to me. It is obvious you didn't come here for a discussion. You came to insult me as usual. Whatever. I want to discuss with you about getting a job. I am tired of staying at home. Okay. What do you mean by okay? Is okay the only thing you have to say? So what do you want me to say? I am telling you so that you could help me with some money to start a business. <laughs> you want me, Benjamin, to give you some money? Yes, of course. Are you not my husband? Oh, really? Now that you need money, you suddenly remember I am your husband. Will you give me the money or not? Even if I have millions of naira, I will not give it to you. Not with this kind of bad mouth that you have. Oh, really? Yes, really. We shall see about it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Watch your back. Charity! Charity! How are you shouting my name like this? Where's the 300,000 that I kept drawing in the morning? What kind of a silly question is that? Did you give me money to keep for you? I know you took the money. I want you to return it now. <laughs> Look at this man. Did you tell me where you kept your money? What is wrong with you, Charity? Since when did you start stealing? Since I requested for money and you turned me down. So you actually stole the money? Point of correction. I took it. I didn't steal it. That money is not mine. I want you to return it. I've already used it. You have already done what? That money is not mine, for God's sake. And do I look like I care? The money is not yours. How come it was in your drawer? That money is our monthly contribution at my place of work. I will do that money against tomorrow. The person that is due for the money will be paid tomorrow, so it's not mine. Well, you can go and tell the person that your wife used it. Why are you trying to bring problems to us? I might get some problem if I don't present the money to the person tomorrow. Benjamin, stop looking for excuses. I know that money is yours. It is not mine. I'm saying nothing but the truth. Well, sorry for disappointment. I have already used the money. No, Charity, you cannot use that money. It is not mine for God's sake. I am done explaining myself. Baby, please, I'm begging you. Don't put me to shame. The money is not mine, please. Don't even try to sugarcoat me because it won't work. Period. Sweetheart, what took you so long? You said about an hour ago that you were on your way coming. I'm sorry, honey. I saw a friend of yours, so I decided to wait and say hi to her. It's okay. Hope the traffic wasn't hurting today. Not at all. I used a different road. Okay. I'm so happy that you are here. Same here, my love. How is your little pumpkin doing? Oh, please. You know you are the only pumpkin I have. I'm talking about your money-making machine. <laughs> that is such a crazy name. That is what describes her at the moment. Mm, I am so tired of that girl. She's too clingy. I thought that is how you like your woman to be. That is how I want you to be, but not her. I don't feel anything for her. Was she here today? She comes here every day. That is my annoyance. I just want all this to stop. Baby, you know you can't stop now. We need money for our wedding. Even to have a comfortable life after the wedding. I know. But she is suffocating me. I want to share with me always. After all, we are engaged to be married soon. Wait, are you telling me to move in here with you? Yes, my love. I want you by my side. What should we tell her when she comes around? You are my sister, of course. After all, we look alike. We definitely don't look alike. Well, that is what we are going to tell her. But can't we just wait until after our wedding? I can't wait. Our parents have approved of us already. What else is marriage? Mm. 
I just hope this doesn't stop the money from coming in. It can never stop the money from coming in. She loves me too much to do that. Okay then, I'll have to discuss this with my aunt. I'll get back to you. Okay baby, let me get you something to drink. Why did you behave that way yesterday now? I saw your text message and I was worried. Bro, thank you very much for covering up for me. What happened? Why did you tell me to lie that you were sick? I'm in a very big trouble. I don't know what to do. What's the problem? Is it your wife again? Yes, and she has done the worst this time around. What did she do? Talk to me. The 300,000 naira I was supposed to give to Batch 5 yesterday for his contribution. My wife took it and refused to give it to me. What? Why? She requested for some money to start a business, but I refused to give it to her, so she took it. Bro, how could you be so careless? You know the kind of person your wife is, yet you kept such amount in the house. How was I supposed to know she would steal the money? I kept it in my room. I didn't know she would be wicked to the point of stealing my money. That's your wife now, serious kiss. Didn't I warn you against that girl? Now see what you have gotten yourself into. I loved her. I thought she was going to change after marriage. I didn't know it would be worse. Just listen to yourself. All the signs you saw. Now look at the kind of abuse you are going through. I wish I can change the hands of time. So what do you intend to do? I seriously do not know. I haven't been paid for the past two months now. And I don't have such amounts in my account. Hmm. This is a problem. This is trouble. Because that guy would like to hear this story you are telling me now. You might be arrested for this. That is my greatest fear now. If I am arrested, that means I will lose my job. How much do you have in your account? A hundred and fifty thousand naira. It's okay. I'll add the rest of the money for you. Oh my god, thank you very much, Melvin. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Don't need to thank me. I know you would have done the same if tables were turned. Thanks, bro. My love, I hope you enjoyed your meal. You know, I always enjoy my meal. You are very good in cooking. Stop flattering me, Joe. I only asked if you enjoyed your meal. I am serious. I actually thought of you starting a catering business. What do you think? I don't want to think anything because I know it will not work. Don't be too negative. Although I don't have money now for a business, that doesn't mean I cannot save little by little to start something for you. But when I came up with the idea, you bluntly said you don't have money. That is because I don't know how long it will take to save the amount needed for the business. Okay, well, catering is a very nice idea. Have you forgotten that my mom was a caterer? How can I forget? Anytime I taste your delicious meal, I always remember you learned from the best. Yes, I learned from the best. So what's up? Did you go to the post office? Not really. I changed my mind. Why? Don't you want to work anymore? I don't want to work under anyone. Are you sure that is the reason? Because I stated this particular reason, but you still insisted. After all, I'm working for someone. Yours is different. That is advanced work. Really? Yes. I don't want to be anyone's errand girl. Okay, oh, since you have changed your mind, no problem then. Okay. Good evening, mommy. Charity, sit down. I don't have time for your greetings right now. I hope there is no problem. This one you are standing this way. I am not happy with you. Charity, is this how I raised you? I don't understand what you are saying, mom. Your husband brought your complaint to me again. That is less, man. How dare he report me to you? What is he trying to prove? Shut up your mouth, Charity. How could you refer to your husband as useless? Don't you have respect? What he did is it good? How could he bring our marital problems to you? So he is supposed to die in silence, Abby? Is he not a man? Why can't he handle it like a man and put his home together? How will he put his home together when you are ready to scatter it? What exactly is wrong with you, Charity? You don't even know what the problem is yet you've already touched. You are my daughter, but I will never support you when you're wrong. You don't know what that man is passing through. Stop abusing him. I'm not abusing him, mom. I've never hit him before. Oh, so you think abuse is only when you hit someone? Your husband is passing through emotional abuse. We don't know my husband more than me. That man is wicked. Could you imagine I asked him for a little money to start a business, but he bluntly refused. Was that why you stole his money? I didn't steal his money, I took it. You are a disgrace, Charity. 
you better fix your home before it is too late. Sweetheart, why are you back so early? Baby, there is a little problem and I need your understanding on it. What is the problem? Have you lost your job? Of course not. Why would such a thing come into your mind? Because that is the only reason why you would come home very early from work during working hours. Well, I am not sad, but I have three days business trip. Business trip again? I thought you went on a business trip six months ago. Baby, I am sorry. It is not my fault. I tried persuading my boss to take someone else, but he insisted on taking me. I am not happy about this news at all. You know how much I always want to have you here. I know, but I have to work. I have to fend for this family. Hmm. How many days did you say you are going? Just three days and I will be back for you. Can't I come with you, at least to keep you company? No, honey. If I had my way, I would take you with me. But this is business. I don't have to miss it with pleasure. Hmm. It's okay. So when are you leaving? Very early tomorrow morning. I will miss you so much. I will miss you too. Don't worry, I'm not going for very long. Promise me you won't do anything stupid over there. Baby, that has been my vow since we got married. I will stay faithful to you for as long as I live. Okay, let's go and arrange your bags. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Man, so you're here. What is it again this evening? Oh, so you don't know what it is. After reporting me to my mother, you sit here. I see if you did nothing. Charity, where's the 300,000 naira you took from me? Oga, if you like, take me to high court. I'll not return in time. Really? Yes, really. You think reporting me to my mom will make me return the money? <laughs> Why are you like this, Charity? I never knew you could be this wicked. You haven't seen anything yet. If you know what is good for you, stay out of my way. I should stay out of your way in my own house. This is also my house. I will not try to let you bully me in this house. How am I bullying you? You are the one bullying me. How can you take such amount of money from me and expect me to be happy with you? I don't care if you are happy with me or not. Just stay out of my way. With this action of yours, you have put me in a serious debt. I haven't been able to pay me off until now. Do you know what is your problem? You lie too much. You lie about every little thing. And how am I lying to you? Do you want to confirm for Melvin? You both are best of saying feather. I will not waste such time. Well, I hope the money will last you forever because I will not give you a dime again. <laughs> See who is talking. How much did you give to me when I didn't take the money? I hope the money will be enough. Take care of your feeding. Suit yourself. I'm out of here. <laughs> Hey sis, thank god you came early today. If not, I would have gone out any moment from now. This is the usefulness of a phone. I would have called to inform the time of visiting. I wish I had two phones. I would have given one to you. Don't work. Maybe it's time I asked my father for a phone. Of course you should have. After all, you're up to the age of having a phone. I will talk to him about it when he comes back tonight. So how have you been? My day. I cannot start telling you my experience in that house. It is hell for me. Hmm. It's hell for me too. Yours is different, Bella. You can leave him. That's the problem, Mabel. My parents are wretched. He feeds them. He pays my sister's school fees. If I leave him now, how are we going to survive? He picks me from the former place I served as a maid. Hmm. Don't worry, dear. Everything will be fine very soon. Have you had something to eat? I haven't eaten anything. I only eat when my father comes back from work at night. I've not reported them to him. Maybe he will do something about it. I don't think there is anything he can do. He has talked to his wife severally about how she treats me. Yet nothing has changed. Mmm, I cooked rice. Would you like to eat? Of course I would like to. I am very hungry and weak. Okay, let me bring the food. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Mom. 
Evening, my dear. Mabel, where are you coming from? I am sorry, mommy. I went to visit a friend of mine. Who gave you the permission to leave this house? Mom, I have been indoor for the past one week now. I felt bored, so I decided to visit her. Are you out of your mind? Why was my room untidy? I am sorry. I didn't know it was untidy. I arranged it this morning. Shut up your dirty mouth. How many times have I told you to always check on my room every time to know when it's dirty or not? That's enough, Amanda. Allow the poor girl to breathe. It is just too much. She doesn't do her duties anymore in this house. She's not a maid. Destiny should be made to do the chores with her. Stop it, Fred. You are fond of supporting this girl whenever she is wrong. What is our offense in this? You are angry that she's coming back by this time. Where is your precious daughter, Destiny? Don't even involve Destiny in this. What has Destiny got to do with this idiot not doing her job well? I won't sit here and watch you abuse this girl, verbally. Daddy, please, I have something to discuss with you today. Okay, my dear. What is the problem? Please, I want it to be just the both of us. What is so important that you can't say it here? Or are you now dragging my husband with me? Stop this madness, Amanda. Maybe, my dear, I will come and meet you later. Okay, Daddy. Please don't forget. I won't. Go and get me water to drink. Okay, Mom. Hi, how can I help you? And who are you? You came in here to see me, so you should be the one to tell me who you are. I don't want to believe that John is cheating on me. Who the hell are you, young lady? <laughs> Baby girl, how is he cheating on you? Are you married to him? Only married couples are allowed to use the word cheat. Where is John? He stepped out to get something. He'll be back soon. My name is Destiny and John is my man. We will be married soon. My name is Priska and John is only my man. We will be married soon. What? <laughs> I'm just pulling your legs. Gosh, you almost gave me a heart attack. Is that how much you love him? John is my everything. I can't imagine life without him. So, what are you to him? John is my brother. Really? Wow. Nice to meet you, my soon-to-be sister-in-law. Nice to meet you too. John has said a lot about you. I hope they are good things though. They are definitely good things. Destiny, I didn't know you would be coming this morning. Has it been long you arrived? No, not too long. Your sister told me you stepped out. Wow, I see you both have already gotten to talk. Yes, we have. And you have such a wonderful girlfriend. Yes, she is the love of my life. And I love her so much. I can see that she loves you too. Yes, I love him too. When you enter Mabel's bedroom, what did you go there for? Excuse me, what kind of question is that? Don't I have the right to enter my daughter's room? Fred, you and I know she is not your daughter, and anything can happen between you. Don't be ridiculous, Amanda. Maybe is my daughter, and she will always be. I asked a simple question. What did you go there for? We are not there in the sitting room when she said she wanted to have a discussion with me. So let's assume you went there to talk. What did you both talk about? She wants a phone. She complained of being bored and needs something to keep her company. Really? Wait, why is she not allowed to watch television in this house? If she wants to watch television, then let her go and watch television in her father's house. What is wrong with you for God's sake? How can't you treat this girl like your own? Because she is not mine. I will not let her have more advantage than our real daughter. Well, for your information, I will get her a new phone this evening. I will make sure she goes to one of the best universities in this country. Kill yourself if you want. You would do no such thing, Fred. Really? Then watch me and see. Hey, baby. Welcome, my love. I missed you so much. How have you been? You look lean. How won't you be eat feeling well? <laughs> Just three days and you already think I am thin. You know, I always make sure you eat very well. And when I traveled, you went back to being on the diet again? Of course not. I knew you would complain of me not feeding well. So I made sure I ate 10 times a day. I know that is a lie. So how have you been? I don't know. I wasn't happy all through the period you weren't here. Same year, my love. I could not feed well. I miss your food so much. Don't worry. Now that you're at home, I will make sure you feed well and replace the days you stayed hungry. I know. 
That was why I rushed home. Met thinking of you, I got homesick. Mine was a bit different. I got some company here. Your mom came around? No, my friend Charity stayed with me. She left this morning. Charity? She left her home to come stay with you? Her husband traveled on a business trip too. So she got bored and decided to come stay here. Hmm, I don't know why. I don't like that woman. But since you like her, I don't have a choice but to like her too. That is because you're not very close with her. She's a very likable person. Okay, if you say so. I hope you prepared for something for me to eat. Before Uncle, I prepared your favorites. Man, my mouth is already watery. <laughs> you will definitely enjoy it. Let's go have a taste. Charity, where are you coming from? Excuse me. Don't I have the right to do and go wherever I want? Answer my question now. Don't provoke me the more. Benjamin, I am not a prisoner in this house. Eh? Answer me. Where have you been for the past three days? I went to visit a friend of mine. You went to visit a friend of yours? I know nothing about. No call, no text message. You just left. I wasn't happy with you. Benjamin, that was why I left. And I'm still not happy with you. Do you understand the gravity of what you have done? What are you talking about? I only went to visit a friend. I called your line several times and you switched off your phone. I went to your mother's house to check if you were there. But you were nowhere to be found. I had to file for a missing persons report at the police station. You did what? You understand the stress you put me through? All because you wanted to be stupid. Stop raising your voice at me, Benjamin. I didn't commit any crime. I just wanted to take a break. Okay then. Maybe it is a nice idea if you also take a break in your father's house. What do you mean by that, Benjamin? For leaving this house for so long without my consent nor permission. That shows you have no respect nor regard for me. So what has that got to do with me? Taking a break in my father's house? I'm going to the police station to cancel the report I made. I want you out of my house by the time I get back. Benjamin, let's settle this here. I don't want to get my mother involved. Don't let me repeat myself. It will be disastrous if I come back and you're still here. I don't like this idea of you always talking forever to come back whenever you go there. I'm sorry, you know how traffic is in this city. Can you stop using traffic as an excuse all the time? It's okay, at least I'm here now. Did you succeed in getting the 100,000 for me? Yes, it gave me the complete amount. Good, I knew it would give it to you. So how much have you saved so far? Don't let that be your problem, just focus on getting more money from him. When will all this stop? I'm getting tired already. You can't be tired, Priska. You haven't done anything so far. I told you to get money from different men so we could save for our wedding. But no, you choose to settle with one broke house man. Do you realize you're pushing me into prostitution? And so, as long as it gives us what we want, then what is stopping you? Don't be selfish, Bello. I can't be with multiple men all because of you. It is obvious you don't love me. You are just using me. I should be the one to say that. It is obvious you're just using me. Of course not, my love. I love you and you know that. Well, John told me to move in with him. Why? Did he give you any reason? He only said he wants me to be by his side all the time. What a silly excuse. So what did you say to him as he replied? I told him I have to discuss with you first before making any move. You mentioned my name? Of course not. I said my hand instead of his name. Well, you can go stay with him as long as it brings more money. Are you for real? Is that what you really want? Don't you want me by your side? Babe, all this is just for a short period of time. It will be over soon. How soon? Very soon. Once I get the amount I need for our wedding, we will stop all this. Mm, okay then. I'll move it with him. Fred, I'm suspecting you these days, though. I don't understand. Where is that coming from? What are you doing in Mabel's bedroom a few minutes ago? I won't tolerate this kind of question again next time. If you have nothing to say, just keep short. What do you mean by I should keep short? You went into a 24 years old girl bedroom who is not your daughter and you expect me to be quiet? Let those dirty thoughts keep running through your mind. At least, that is what you are best known for. Don't get on my nerves, Fred. I'm not comfortable with you always going into that guest room. Are you out of your mind? What do you think I can possibly do with her? I have raised her for 20 years now. And this is what you could think of me? Anything can happen anytime. I just want to be on the safe side. I didn't go there for anything. I only went there to tell her that jam form will be out by next week and I will get it for her. 
Wait, Fred, don't tell me you want to go ahead with what you said last time. Amanda, what is wrong with me going ahead with what I said the last time? So what about our biological data? Isn't she worthy enough to go to school? Of course, I'm getting the damn form for two. Maybe I must go to school. She's too brilliant to be at home. Did you get her the phone you promised her? Yes, I did. And if you try anything stupid, you'll see the bad side of me. Baby sis, how are you doing? Sis, I want to visit you. It's been a long time we saw you. Of what use is it to see me? At least to confirm if you are fine or not. There is no need, Irene. How is mom doing? Mom is fine. She wants to see you. Aren't you missing us? You know how Patrick is. He might not let me go. Just try your luck and talk to him. Who knows, he might be the one to bring you here. I just pray so. I miss you guys so much. How are you guys coping in school? Hmm, sis, I won't lie to you. It is tough. I couldn't write my yesterday's exam because I haven't completed my fees. Oh my god, not again. But I gave you the complete school fees now. We used it for something else, have you forgotten? I just asked him for money yesterday for you guys speeding. I can't possibly ask him for money again today. Sis, please now. Do you want them to keep on chasing me from school? That is tough, Irene. It will give Patrick the morale to talk to me and abuse me more. But there is nothing we can do at the moment. You are our last hope. I'm always your last hope. Anyway, I will see what I can do. Please try. I will call you back tomorrow morning to know what his response is. My regards to mom and take good care of yourself. Okay, sis. Bye. You this ingrate. What are you doing in my sitting room? Will you stand up from there? Sorry, mom. Good morning. Keep your greetings to yourself, ungrateful child. Mommy, what have I done again this morning? You think I'm not aware that my husband got you a phone? It's not something he did. You would have still seen the phone anyway. How would I have seen the phone when you invited him to your room just to make the request? Mom, it is not something serious. He gives me a phone. That is all. Just thank your God I'm not wicked. If not, I would have seized that phone from you this moment. Thank you for not seizing it. I am not using the phone for anything anyway. Shut up, you liar. You think I don't know your plans? I will expose you very soon. Expose me? What, ma? I have no evil plans with this phone. I only want to use it and communicate with my best friend. That's all. My husband told me he wants to get a jam phone for you. Is that true? Yes, ma. That was what he told me yesterday. Listen to me. And listen very carefully. Fred is not your father, and you are not allowed to accept that offer. Yes, I know he is not my father, but why can't I accept an offer that will be beneficial to me in the nearest future? Don't dare me, Mabel. I give you 24 hours to turn down that offer, or else I will deal with you in a language you will not understand. Mommy, please. I really want to go to school. Don't rob me of this, please. I said what I said, Mabel. I won't repeat myself. If you want to see what I can truly do, then go ahead and get that jam for. Mommy, please. I give you 24 hours to decline that offer. Hey, baby. Welcome, my love. I thought you were joking when you told me you are here. You know I wouldn't joke with something like that. Welcome home. I will try as fast as possible to pay your diary so you can officially become my wife. That would be nice, but let's take one step at a time. I don't want to rush things with you. I want you to rush things with me. You know how much I love you. Babe, I did not come here to talk about marriage. I know. Have you had something to eat? Not yet. I was waiting for you to come back. Why? Is there nothing in the house? There is, but I just want to eat with you. That is so romantic. I love that. Enjoy eating with you too. I know, right? So let's go eat then. I'm famished. Wait. I hope your bags are in my room. Of course not. I took them to the visitor's room. Why? 
I want to stay in the guest house. I'll be more comfortable there. No, Priska. I don't want you to stay in the guest room. Pack into my room. No, John. I guess I have a right to make decisions too. I'm not saying you don't. But why do you want to stay in the guest room? We are not legally married. Until we are married, then I'll pack into your room. Hmm. Okay. Your wish is my command. Thank you. Good afternoon. Yes. How can I help you? Please, it's Bella at home. Who are you and what do you want Bella for? <laughs> are you just waking up from sleep? It's me, Mabel. Well, Mabel, or whatever your name is. I don't know you. Why are you pretending as if you don't know me? It is me, Bella's friend, that comes here all the time. So you know that you come here all the time, are we? Why can't you stay in your own house once? Always looking for where to gossip. Hey, Mabel, what's up now? I didn't see you throughout yesterday. Your fiancé here just pretended you didn't know me. Baby, why would you do that? I'm very sure you know her. Shut up your mouth. Who asked you to come out? I heard Mabel's voice, so I decided to come out. Go inside now. I don't want to see you here. Don't worry, Bella. I will see you next time. Go inside, okay? Th you see who next time? Don't you have a house? Baby, that's enough, please. Stop embarrassing my friend. As for you, I will deal with you this evening for disobeying me. Take care of yourself, Bella. I will see you next time. I'm really sorry for the embarrassment. Take care of yourself, too. Okay, dear. I went to the bedroom to look for you, but you aren't there. I just came in now. I went to see a friend of mine that just gave birth. And it took you how many hours to go there and come back? Excuse me? Am I now a prisoner in my house? I came back from work over two hours ago. And you are just coming back from visiting a friend. Your voice sounds angry. Is there a problem? Why did you threaten Mabel and want her never to accept my offer of enrolling her in school? Is that the nonsense she told you? Mabel would never lie to me. So am I the one that can lie now, Abby? What has that girl given to you, Fred? I've noticed your movement of always going to her room. What are you insinuating? That I'm having an affair with my own daughter? How many times do I need to remind you that she is not your daughter? Don't change the topic from what it was. Did you threaten Mabel or not? I did not threaten Mabel. Maybe you should go back and ask her. Don't you lie to me, Amanda. And so? What if I want her not to take the offer? What will you do? How could you? Why do you hate this girl so much? What did she ever do to you? Didn't I want you to take that girl back to the orphanage? What is the big deal? She has been with us since when she was five months old. We raised her. She has lived with us for 20 years now. So definitely, she's our child now. We don't share the same DNA. So I can never treat her as my child. I hate her. Well. For information, I'll be taking her to get her jam from tomorrow. I'll make sure she goes to school. I'm pretty sure you haven't forgotten who I am, Fred. I will deal with you if you dare go against me. Enough of the manipulation, Amanda. I'll make sure my dad takes that company away from you. Have you forgotten I owe everything that you are enjoying now? This is my house, and I won't hesitate to chase the both of you out. Could you been there? Welcome, my friend. It's been such a long time. You don't throw me now. You no longer call me. Ah, my friend. Don't say that. I rarely recharge my phone. So your husband can't also afford to recharge your phone? I don't ask for it. Must you ask for it before he recharges your phone for you? Anyway, sorry for not calling you. I will try my best to always call. That is why I love my husband so much. He does things for me even without asking me. So have you started a business yourself? Yes, so my dear, I am now a full-time businesswoman. So what kind of business are you doing? So your husband has gone to work already? Yes, he left early this morning as usual. You are not looking good at all. Your husband is not trying at all. He is trying. You know things are hard. Things are hard everywhere, but my husband tries hard to take very good care of me. Okay, good for you. Let me get you something to drink.
Good evening, mommy. This one you are here again today. I hope there is no problem. So I can't visit my mother again? Oh, I can't remember the last time you came to check on me. But I was here all through the period Benjamin chased me out. That was a different case. You came because you had no choice. Don't worry, mommy. I will come spend one of the weekends with you. When will that be? I don't know yet. Just one of the weekends. Okay, oh, if you say so. So, how are you and your husband? Leave that man a beg. I don't want to talk about him. I knew it. You both cannot stay for a day without a problem. Can you imagine that that Benjamin has refused to take up his responsibilities in that house? What kind of responsibility? Since I got back, he has refused to give me money to buy foodstuffs in the house. I literally eat outside. Why would Benjamin do such a thing? I don't know him to be like that. You're always praising this man. Benjamin is wicked, mom. Are you sure you haven't done anything wrong that would warrant him eating outside? What could I possibly do to such a heartless man? Wait, did you return the 300,000 naira you stole from him? Mom, how many times will I correct? I didn't steal his money. Answer my question. Did you return the 300,000? I didn't. Then endure whatever he does to you in peace. Don't tell me you're supporting his actions. That is the same thing I would have done if I was in his shoes. I am your daughter, but yet you don't treat me like one. Coming here was just a waste of time. Mommy. Good morning, my dear. Why are you up so early? It's not early because dad has already gone to work. You know I don't like it when you come looking for me in my room. What if I was with your father? I already made sure dad left for work before I came here. So what do you want? <laughs> what makes you think that I want something? I know you want something whenever you meet me early in the morning like this. You are right, sir. I need money. What do you want the money for again? What I need money for is not your business. Just give me money. Watch your tongue, young lady. Sorry. How much do you want? 100,000 naira. It's okay. I will transfer the money to you when I get out of bed. No, now. I need the money this morning. Destiny, go. I will transfer the money to you. Don't rush me. Send it this morning because I want to use it this morning. Good evening, sis. Irene, what are you doing here? Can I sit? You can sit, but I hope you are not here to stay long. And why won't I? I've been calling your line, but you have refused to answer your phone. If you had listened carefully, you would know that my lines are not reachable. I tried it so many times, and it was really frustrating. That's enough reason for you to not come here to look for me. I had no choice. I had to look for a way. What do you want? Why have you been calling? Since the last time we spoke, you promised to send some money for my fees and upkeep, but up till now, I haven't seen anything. I'm very sorry about that. Patrick has refused to give me money. Why? Did you provoke him again? Not at all. I am more careful in this house than anything. There has to be a reason why he refused to give you money. I think it's because my friend came to visit me after he warned me not to talk to her anymore. See, seriously, we really need money. We barely feed. This square meals a day has become a problem to us. I don't know what to do. I just wanted to take a break from asking Patrick for money. But you know, we don't have a choice unless you want us to start begging on the streets. Hmm, it's okay. I will see what I can do when he comes back. Okay, I will go tomorrow morning. You must be joking. You have to go back today. I can't go back today. It's getting late already. I can't let you stay here, Irene. I know the kind of man I am either. He will be happy to have me here. Yes, he will be happy because of his evil plans. Please just go. What are you really scared of? He will kill me? No, he might want to get down with you and we won't do anything about it. Oh. Okay, I will go, but get me something to eat first. I'm hungry. I'm coming. I am off to work. Take care of yourself and the house. You're off to which work, Benjamin? Don't try me this morning. Excuse me, what do you mean by I should not try you this morning? For how many days I've been using my money to feed myself? Thank God it is yourself you are feeding. I thought you would say you are using your money to feed me. Don't provoke me more than you already have. Charity or whatever your name is, I'm not ready for this silly drama this morning. Who is acting moving with you? If you want to see the kind of woman I am, leave this house. What kind of a woman are you? Is this how other wives behave with their husband? And this how other husbands behave with their wives? Have I abused you in any way? Who have I really done to bring out the wicked you? I don't care, Benjamin. What I know is that I will not use my money to feed myself again. Then get ready to starve. 
because I don't have money to give to you. Then you also get ready to skip work today because you are not going anywhere. And if I don't go to work, how do you expect me to give you the things you have been ranting for? When was the last time you got me things? Stop using that to cover up. I will not get you anything until you give me the money you stole from me. Which money? I don't have any money to give you. Okay, ma. See you later. <laughs> you're just wasting your time if you're going to open the door because I locked it and I'm with a key. What is the meaning of this? Give me the keys to that door. Don't mess with an angry woman. Hi, Dad. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing? I'm fine, Daddy. You came home early today. Where have you been? I went to visit a friend of mine. This friend of yours that we know nothing of. I hope you are safe. Yes, Daddy. I am very safe. Bella is a very nice girl. So, how have you been? I haven't been able to talk with you these past few days. I totally understand. Mom is also making things difficult for you. I am really sorry about not being able to go to school. I guess you spoke with her. Yes, I did. And it didn't turn out well. I knew it would be like that. That was why I told you not to bother. I really feel for you, my dear daughter. I wish there is a way I could help. I wish there is a way too. But it would be better if we don't wish. It is well. I hope there is no problem at work. This one you are back early. No problem at all. I finished what I had at hand early, so I left. Okay, let me go get you something to eat. No, my dear. I am not hungry. I don't have appetite. Don't tell me you are still feeling bad for what is happening. Of course I am. And the fact that I can't help you is killing me. Stop, daddy. I will manage. Try and eat something, please. We will find a way out. Hmm. Guy, you fought my hand seriously. You know I would never stay back from work unnecessarily. But that's your wife, eh? If this is how marriage is, then I prefer to be single. No, don't say that. It depends on the partner. You should pray for a better partner instead of thinking this way. Why not sit that your wife down and talk to her? Maybe she will listen. How many times have I done that? Sometimes she wouldn't even listen to me. Hmm. <sighs> now wow. Thank you God that the CEO decided to forgive you this time. As in eh, I don't know what I have done no, but that 5,000 he deducted from my salary is painful, Sha. You're not even thankful that you didn't lose your job in the process. My brother, I am thankful. So how was yesterday's presentation? Man, it was light. Everyone did perfectly well. I would have been the best if I was there. Story for the gods. I will see how good you are tomorrow. But I see you will say, if you can't even spare me from that presentation. I hope you'll be happy if he spares you from your salary. No, don't even go there. You see, lazy ass like you. Let's go back to the office, Jerry. Long time should be over. It's not yet over. We still have 10 more minutes. Okay. My sweetest heart. Welcome, baby. How was your night? Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. I came to your room, but you weren't there. Yes, dear. I went out very early this morning. Okay. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I guess Destiny discussed my moving in with you. I don't want to have a discussion on that topic. Why, babe? It's really necessary. I don't want anything that will make her stop giving me money. Destiny will never stop giving me money. She loves me too much to do that. I think it's better I move out. I don't want any problem with her. There will be no problem, my love. Don't tell me you thought about moving out. I saw the way she looked at me when you left. Obviously, she wasn't happy. I just hope she is not obsessed with me. As in, uh, I was shocked when she told me to move out. Imagine if you had said I am your friend or cousin. She would have thrown me out immediately. I am confused if that one is also insecurity or it is stupidity. Because I clearly explained to her that you are my sister, but she still wants you to move out. Just take things slow with her so she doesn't think or she doesn't care herself when you even leave her. Of course, but I am angry with you for even thinking of moving out. I'm sorry, dear. I don't just want issues between you two. Don't say that. You are not coming in between anybody. It is you I love and it is you I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay, I'll hold you to your words. I'm not even a bit scared. We shall see about that. Oh. 
So you are here. I have been calling you since without any response from you. I didn't hear you call me. Is there a problem? Yes, there is a problem. What is it again? It seems the only thing we do of recent is to create problem. And who is always of the cause of it? When you are always hovering that guest room like a zombie, and you expect me to be happy about that. Not again, Amanda. I thought you came out here to have a discussion with me. So are we not having the discussion? If our discussion will be about Mabel, then count me out of it. I'm very sure you will beg me to count you in after listening to what I have to say. I'm listening to what you have to say. I called my father yesterday and reported to him about what you have been doing behind my back. Excuse me, what are you talking about? What have I been doing behind your back? What have you been going to Mabel's room to do every day after work? You think I've not been seeing you, right? Don't get me pissed off, Amanda. You and I know I go there to talk and nothing else. What will I be doing with my daughter? Not your flesh and blood daughter. She is your foster child and anything can happen. I'm not loose. I only play my role as a good father. You have to explain that to my father. And the company is about to be taken away from you. No, please, don't say that. I have sacrificed so much for that company. I want you to stay away from that girl, but you didn't. That is not enough reason for you to involve your father now. He will deal with you in an appropriate manner. You messed with the wrong person. I am sorry for whatever I did. Please, beg your father on my behalf, please. I will only do that on one condition. Whatever it is. You will have to stay away from Mabel and anything that concerns her. What? In fact, you have to treat her the way I do in this house. If I find out you're doing otherwise, I won't hesitate to bring you to the lowest. Benjamin, where are you coming from by this time of the day? Excuse me? What kind of question is that? Answer my question. I went to work, of course. Where else do you think I went to? Your normal closing time from work was two hours ago. So where are you coming from? <laughs> Chai, I've suffered. Just look at you asking me where I went to. I am your wife, Benjamin. I won't tolerate you going out and coming back anytime you like. So you are my wife? I thought you are my roommate. I said what I said. This your coming home late is becoming too much. My friend, shut up. Who are you to tell me what to do and what not to do? Don't you dare question me again. It's obvious you don't like it when I'm peaceful with you. You are peaceful to who? Are you even done making peace with yourself? You want to try me. Come back home late tomorrow. Are you out of your mind? Who do you think you are to talk to me that way? You're getting on my nerve, Benjamin. Trust me, you won't like what I'll do. You sound so unreasonable right now. In fact, I will come back even later than this tomorrow. I want to see what you will do. Eh, uh, that is what you're saying, Abby? One day you will tell me who the husband is and who the wife is in this house. Irresponsible husband. Irresponsible wife. I better get out. Hey, see who we have here, my soon-to-be sister-in-law. Is John in? No, he stepped out to get something. Where is he always going anytime I come here? Relax, he'll be here soon. You don't look happy, is everything okay? Everything is fine. What would you like to take? Let me get it for you. Don't bother, I don't need anything. Are you sure everything is okay? Did you have a fight with John? So apart from John, you don't have any other relative you can stay with. What is really your problem with my presence in this house? I am not comfortable with you in this house. Don't you get it? You're really funny. I can't possibly do anything with my brother. I didn't say you would do anything with your brother. So what's the fuse all about? I bought this house for John and I strictly told him that no family member is allowed. Really? Yes, I want to be the only woman in this house. Well, I believe you spoke with him and he gave you his reply. It is not about John. It is your decision to make. I made up my mind to leave, but John stopped me. So, he's the one holding me back. Hmm, it's okay. I don't want to offend John. I love him too much to do that. Don't worry. If he brings any woman to the house, you'll definitely be the first to know about it. I hear you. I know you are just pulling my legs. Of course not. I'm serious about it. Okay then. I'll count on you. Welcome, baby. How was work today? What is in this house to eat? I'm hungry. I made something delicious for you. You will like it. I hope I do. 
Because if I don't, there will be no food in this house for two days. You know how it is when you mess up. There will be no need for that because I took time to cook for you. Did you receive the money I sent to you? Yes, and I was wondering why you would spend money to me when I didn't ask for it. That money is for compensation. What are you compensating me for? A friend of mine will visit me tomorrow evening, so I want you to treat her well. Excuse me? You want to bring a woman to this house tomorrow? Yes, you have to treat her well. I don't want to hear any complaints from her. Patrick, are you out of your mind? How dare you even think of doing such? I should be the one to ask you that. Don't you ever in your life try to raise your voice at me again, or I'll make sure I leave your wretched family to die of hunger. It's still very hard to believe that you would send me such a huge money just for you to carry out your evil arts. One thing you should know is that I can still do whatever I want to do without giving you a dime. Oh, I'm really disappointed in you. In fact, it would be best if you travel this evening. You can come back a day after tomorrow. Travel to where? Go and stay with your sister. No, I don't want to go to the village. I promise to be my best and to be my best behavior. No, you have to go. Your presence will make my visitor uncomfortable. You know how much I dislike going to the village. Go and stay with your junior sister. I can remember renting an apartment for her in the school environment. Patrick, please. Get ready. You are traveling this weekend. Daughter, have fun now. Welcome, dear. I knew you would definitely come today. Why? Are you not monitoring my movements? Of course not. Majority of your visits are mostly on Saturdays. That is because Saturday is a resting day. I see. How about my in-law? Has he gone to work? No, now. Today is Saturday. Resting day. So he's inside? Yes, he is sleeping. He had a long day yesterday. Okay. I was just on my way to the boutique in this your neighborhood. So I decided to come say hi to you. Boutique? You want to get new clothes? Yes, yeah. My husband gives me money every Saturday. To get whatever I want. Wow. Yes, my husband spends so much on me because he loves me. I really admire your marriage. That is how marriage is supposed to be, my dear. If a man that claims he loves you doesn't spend on you, then he doesn't love you at all. My husband loves me. It's just that he doesn't have money. So who is he hustling his money for apart from you? Your husband has been working for the past many years, now yet you cannot boast of a tangible amount in your account. Seriously? I am beginning to get worried if there is someone else he's spending his money on. You really have to be worried, my dear. It is not ordinary at all. I will talk to him about it because I can't keep on managing for the rest of my life. If you do that, it will be a big step for you. Would you like me to come with you to the boutique? No, dear, don't bother yourself. I have some few people to visit before going to the boutique. Okay, dear. Don't forget to get me something as well. Of course not. Take care of yourself. I will. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. Bye. What kind of life is this, hey? Am I cursed? Am I truly a child of bad luck, like he said? Why is everyone rejecting me? Why can't I be happy for once? <laughs> the only person that stood by me has left me to my miserable world. Oh, God. Why did you create me if you knew this would happen to me? Who do I turn to? I just wish I could run away. But to where? Where will I run to? Now that daddy is against me, how do I survive in this house? This is too much for me to bear. Oh God, please come to my rescue. <laughs> Destiny, where have you been all through the day? Is there a problem? Don't be rude, my friend. Why were you looking for me? Really? You left the house since morning and expect me to look for you? Mom, how many times will I tell you to stop with this unnecessary protection? I am no longer a child. You are my baby, Destiny, and you always remain that way. So I have to look out for you all the time. There are better things for you to do, mom, instead of caging me all the time. I'm not caging you. I just want to make sure you are safe. I don't like it. Your father told me you refused the offer of going to school. Is that true? 
That man, eh? So, why did he tell you? For you to punish me or what? Shut up and don't talk about your father like that. Well, he is right. I don't want to go to school. Give me two reasons why you don't want to go to school. The reason I have is personal. I can't share it with you. My dear, education is the key to success. <laughs> Who told you education is the key to success? The padlock has been changed since, so it's no longer the key, mommy. You have the privilege. Don't misuse it. Some people are fighting to be in your position. Let them keep fighting. They will never be in my position. That is not the point. The point is that you should give it a thought. I am not giving anything a thought. I don't want to go to school and that is fine now. So you are here. I have been looking for you everywhere. Is there a problem? Of course there is a problem. What is it? What else would be the problem if not you coming to my house empty-handed expecting me to feed you? How many days have I even been here? It doesn't matter. You know I am a student and I am trying to manage. Irene, I'm the one paying your school fees. I'm the one paying your rent. Even taking care of your feeding. You are not the one doing it. Patrick is. On whose account? Whatever he is doing for you is because of me. So what am I supposed to do about that? Use all my savings to feed you just because you pay my fees? Don't be ridiculous. I have been only here for two days. It is time you go back. I can't take this anymore. I need to breathe. Are you chasing me out of your house? It's not like I'm chasing you. I mean, it would have been a different case if you had a little money on you. Okay, it's okay. I will leave your house. Come on now, don't take it the wrong way. Why not ask your fiancé for some money? I told you, I don't want a dime from him. I will manage until I go back. Ah, that means you have to go back soon. I don't have money on me anymore. We both have to starve. It's okay. I will go back tomorrow. Please, you have to. It's been a long and stressful day. I swear, the CEO is gradually turning us to something else. I wonder what he takes us for. He thinks handling a project is an easy task. My anger is that the time he's giving us to work on that project is too small. If we are not able to finish it before then, we will take it to him like that. No, we can't take it to him like that. Do you want to lose your job? We won't lose our jobs. We are too important to this company for him to sack us. Really? This is what you think, Abby? Don't worry, he will shock you. So what is the way forward? How are we going to go about the project? Since it's a two days day and night work, you have to come over to my place and stay until we are done with it. No now. You know I can't come and stay in your house. I'm a married man. So you still consider yourself a married man? Come on, let's not go there. My point is that you should be the one stay in my house. It will not be a problem since you are still a bachelor. Staying in your house is not the problem. Your wife is the problem. I will talk to my wife. There is no other way out for us to work overnight. Unless she will be okay with me staying at your place. Better talk to her because I don't want any embarrassment from her. Chill bro. There will be no embarrassment. My friend is coming over to stay here from tomorrow. Excuse me? Which of your friend? Which of my friends do you know? Melvin of course. He is coming over to stay in which house? Besides, what is wrong with his own house? We have an important project to work on and it demands us to work at night too. And so, can't he come and go back when you both are done at the night? He doesn't live in our neighborhood charity. His house is a bit far. It would be unsafe for him to go home late at night. I don't know how you both would do it, but I don't want that guy in this house. Okay then, I have to go stay with him for three days. You go nowhere, Benjamin. Is this some kind of plan you want to go with your lover? If I won't go stay at his place, then he will come here. No way. You both should finish whatever work it is at the office. See, I'm not seeking your permission to let Melvin stay here. I only told you so you would accommodate him when he comes. You're saying what concerns you. My own is that you should not bring that man to this house. Period. Priska, what are you doing here? Why didn't you call me before coming? I just wanted to surprise my baby. Is that also a crime? How many times do I have to tell you that my parents come to my house whenever they like? They will soon be my parents too, so there is no big deal about that. So what are you doing here? Are you here to give me some money? Money? Is that all you ever care about? You don't even care how I'm coping in that house. Cut me that crap. I know for sure that you are enjoying your stay there. I'm definitely not enjoying my stay there. I miss you. Don't you miss me too? Of course I do. But missing you will not bring money to us. 
I just want this to end. That guy disgusts me a lot. Whisker, I have said this times without number. If you want us to be together as soon as possible, then you have to engage yourself with other rich guys. I can't, Bello. I can't be messing around. I still have some respect for my body. Which respect do you have for your body? You don't have any respect for yourself, my dear sister. Are you mocking me? Why will I mock you when you know the truth already? You are with me and also with John. And whose fault is that? All what I'm doing is because of you. I am doubting that. I was only trying to tell you not to use the word respect for yourself. Change the topic. Listening to you makes me sick. The truth hurts. So how much were you able to get from him today? I didn't get any money from him. Why don't you know we are running out of time? Or don't you want to get married to me again? I do. But I think we should take a break from getting money from him. I've asked too much already. What do you mean? That girl is damn rich for God's sake. Let me ask you, how much have you saved so far? Why would you ask me such a question? I have told you to focus on getting money from the guy. I'm just curious. Let me know how much we have saved so far. Don't annoy me. Like I said before, don't let it bother you. I want you to bring some money to me tomorrow. And how in God's name am I supposed to do that? You have to give me some time. Okay, as you wish. Let me get you something to drink. I'll be right back. Where did both of you think you're going to? Good evening, Charity. I hope you had a wonderful day. That doesn't answer my question. Where did both of you think you're going to? What's that supposed to be in Charity? Respect yourself this evening. You're just speaking English. As far as I'm concerned, you both are not going into this house. Benjamin, what kind of embarrassment is this? I thought you told me everything is under control. <coughs> is that what he told you? My dear, nothing is under control. You better go back to your house. Melvin, I'm really sorry about this. Trust me, I'll put everything in place. Mr. Man, the only thing you can put in place is to take your friend back to his house. Leave me away, Charity. Don't let me lose my temper on you. Do you have a temper? Which temper do you want to lose on me? Calm down, Benjamin. I will go to my house. Bro, you are not going anywhere. This is my house and I will make the decisions here. This is your house, Abby. Oh yeah, come and pass now. Let me see. If I count to five and you don't leave my way, you will regret it this evening. I'm not regretting anything. Take this beggar of a friend back to his house. What did you just call my friend? You heard exactly what I called him and that is what he is. Don't you ever in your life refer to my friend as a beggar. Benjamin, leave her alone, please. There is no need for all this. Allow me to deal with her this evening. Let's go. Let me show you the visitor's room. Madam of the house, welcome back. So your visitor has finally gone, Abby? Yes, she left not too long. I wish you saw her on your way out. Man, that girl is hot. You had fun, Abby? I had mad fun. Anyways, I'm glad you are back. All the dishes are dirty in the kitchen. And how is that my business? You both ate with this plate. Why didn't she do the dishes before she left? Because she was a visitor and it is your duty to do dishes in this house. After all, you will be married soon. I feel very disrespected for what you just said. What is disrespectful about what I did? You brought in another woman to this house. I did not say a word. And now you want me to wash this plate she ate with. First of all, you have no right to say a word because this is my house. And so, I have suffered so much. In this house, Patrick. Then leave. You know money is my problem. You are taking advantage of me because you know I need money. Point of correction. I am not taking advantage of you. You are both 18 years of age. Maybe if you give me some money to start up a business, I would have. And I would return the money in six months time. I should give you some money to start the business. So you could leave me, Abby. There is no need to stay there, Patrick. Can't you see? I don't have anything to say to you. Go inside and wash those dishes. Hey baby. Good evening. What are you doing here? Excuse me. Don't I have the right to be here? Of course you don't. This is my house and I deserve to know when you are coming. Did someone annoy you today? Where is Priska? Am I Priska's keeper? Answer my question, Destiny. I am not really in a good mood now. And so? What does that have to do with me? You should get going. I don't want to attend to any visitor right now. I am not a visitor, John, and I will not go anywhere until late at night. Okay then. You are free to stay here till it's time for you to go. Baby, why are you so rude to me today? I am just tired. I need some rest. That is the reason why I said you should go and come back. 
Do you mind sharing with me why you're angry? I said I am fine. Leave me alone for God's sake. What is this all about? Is this about money? I will give you money if it will brighten your mood. How much will you give to me? I want you to smile first. I don't like seeing you like this. I am not in the mood to smile. Someone provoked me. Who got you angry? Is this someone I can handle? Don't bother. I believe I will be fine after taking a cool shower. Okay then, let me quickly go into the kitchen and prepare something for you to eat. There is no need for that, Destiny. Just go, I will call you later. I insist. Let me at least make you something to eat before I go back. Okay then, please don't take too long. Okay baby, let me freshen up. Where have you been, Charity? Why did you leave the door open wherever you went to? I had no idea it was open. I remembered it when I was in the bus. Just listen to yourself. What if a thief came in and stole all our valuables? <laughs> what exactly is the value of this house? Everything in this house is of value to me. Next time, don't try such nonsense again. Ogabe, okay, stop nagging. I'm not really in that mood for this. I've said my own. Always lock the door whenever you are going out. Why are you trying to make this an issue? I've been wanting to see my own madness this evening. Show me your madness is not a new thing. Everyone knows you are naturally mad. I'll just pretend as if I didn't hear that. I won't let anger get the best part of me this evening. That is a great advice. Because if you try to annoy me one more time, I will double the slap I gave to you the other day. Speaking of which, my mom wants to see you tomorrow. Your mother? Why? What kind of a question is that? Am I the one who wants to see you? Swear you didn't tell her about our fight last night. You and who fought? You hit me, remember? I didn't retaliate or anything. So you told your mom about it? Yes, now. Oh, so you think you would hit me and go scot free? Hope you didn't also forget to tell her you blocked my way and refused me entry into my own house. That is none of my business. Make sure you see her tomorrow after work. You are despicable. Whatever. <laughs> Mommy, you called me. Why is it taking so long for the food to be ready? I am sorry, Mommy. I didn't start on time. What are you doing all through the afternoon? I had so many things to do, Ma. I just came back from the market. So what am I supposed to do now? Continue waiting for you? I'm sorry. I will try and finish fast. I wonder what is really making you lazy these days. Have you started hanging around with those street boys? Of course not. I really go out and you know it. Shut up. As if you go out, I will know. Mommy, I am not hanging out with a man. If I find out you are seeing a man, I would deal with you mercilessly. You, this ungrateful child. Why haven't you ironed my clothes yet? I am sorry, Daddy. I wanted to iron it, but Mom sent me on an errand. I have been busy since then. Shut up and don't include my name in your lazy act. It seems you are getting tired of how nice we are to you. I will make this house a living hell to you. I'm sorry, Daddy. I will iron them as soon as I'm done with cookie. Are you out of your mind? Do you realize I have a meeting in less than one hour? Okay, then I will quickly do it since it's just one outfit. There are ten clothes there. Make sure you iron all the clothes. Dad, please, let me just iron the one you will wear today. I still have so many chores to do. Don't test my patient, Mabel. Iron all the 10 clothes now. I have no choice but to suspend the cooking and iron the clothes. I will resume when I am done. You must be out of your mind to think you will suspend the cooking. Mom, but there is nothing I can do. I have to attend to Dad. You have to attend to both of us. Cook and iron the clothes at the same time. That food should be ready in 20 minutes. Your time starts now. Good evening, Mommy. Good evening, Benjamin. I have been expecting you since morning. Sorry for coming now. I just came back from work. It's okay. I'm not offended. Charity told me you have something to discuss with me. I will just go straight to the point. I don't want to delay you here. Okay, ma. Charity brought a complaint to me. She said you hit her. Yes, Mom. I hit her and it was intentional. How dare you look me in the face and tell me you beat my daughter on purpose? I'm sorry for being blunt, but that is the truth. What did she do to you that made you hit her? She denied my friend and I entry into my own house. 
No matter what happens, Benjamin, you have no right to lay your hands on her. Did she explain to you how I hit her? I only slapped her. Can you listen to yourself? Where is that responsible Benjamin I used to know? Your daughter has made me become something else. It is obvious she doesn't like my good side. You are a man for God's sake. You should be able to handle your home as a man. Beating is never an option. You don't know what your daughter is capable of doing. She has frustrated me too much. Enough is enough. I am not in support of this, Benjamin. There are better ways to handle a woman apart from beating her. Sadly, the only language charity understands is hitting her. Obviously, you are not remorseful about what you did. Mom, you know I respect you a lot. That is why I control my anger and never let it get the best of me. But your daughter's attitude is becoming overbearing. Two wrongs can never make a right. You can always walk away when she starts a nasty attitude. Okay, mom, I've heard you. Have you had something to eat? No, I just go back from work. Okay, let me get you something to eat. <laughs> Hello, good evening, dear. Mabel, is this you? Are you surprised to hear my voice? Of course I am. I mean, I've been trying your line, but always switched off. My dear, I am not allowed to use the phone all the time. My mom just left, so I decided to call. I'm so happy to hear from you. I am fine, dear. And I miss you too. So how is Patrick treating you? I hope he has changed, though. Change, it. Okay. Will that kind of a person ever change? I hope he hasn't beaten you again. Not at all. Apart from the fact that he brought in a woman to the house and chased me out. He did what? Yes, so, my dear. I had to go stay with my sister till the woman left. How could he be so callous? He doesn't even care about your feelings. That is how it is. I'm used to it already. No, Bella. You shouldn't be used to bad things happening to you. You have a choice. Yes, I have a choice. But how will my family and I survive? This guy is our savior. Why not go out there and find something doing? At least you can work to support your family. It is not as easy as it seems. How much do you think they are paying out there? Especially someone with just an SSC as a certificate. It doesn't matter, Bella. You can get a job that pays 20000 naira with that certificate. So how about my sister's fees? House rent, money for handouts, and feeding. How will I pay all those? Okay, maybe you should continue being with him for the meantime, while you work and save, and live when you have saved enough. That is the problem. I tried getting a job some time ago, and he strictly warned me not to try it, else he would leave my family problems to me. Then why not save the little money you got from him? That will go a long way too. That is the problem. He made me block my account five months into the relationship. He makes sure I'm not saving. That guy is really heartless. He wants to make sure I'm not saving because he knows once I'm able to stand my own, I will definitely leave him. It is well, dear. Hey, baby. Welcome home. Good evening, my queen. How was your day? It was boring without you. Thank God the day is almost over. Sorry about that. At least I'm here now. How was work today? It was stressful as usual, but I don't have a choice but to endure. Sorry about that. Don't worry. After tasting the delicious meal I cooked for you, the stress will go away. I trust you. But I need a favor from you. Babe, I just got back from work. At least let me have rest first. No, you will rest after listening to what I want to say. Can't it wait? No, it can't wait. I have to say it now. Okay, I'm listening. Adi, I need a new phone. I am tired of this old phone. It is old enough to be changed. I thought we wanted to say something reasonable. Meet me in the bedroom later. What is that supposed to mean? Are you trying to tell me that what I'm saying is not reasonable? Obviously it is not. What is wrong with the phone you are using? I am tired of it. Really? So I should go plug money from the money tree you planted for me and get you a new phone, Abby? Don't be ridiculous. I have used this phone for more than a year now. It has to be changed. I am sorry to disappoint you. I don't have money. When will you ever have money, Adi? You're just becoming too stingy of recent. If saving to build our new house is being stingy, then no problem. I am glad to be stingy. Oh, you're awake. Good afternoon, dear. Did I sleep for long? Of course you did. I came knocking on your door, but you did not open. Sorry about that, dear. 
I must have had a deep sleep. Hope the headache has subsided. Yes, it has. I just feel weak for sleeping for too long this afternoon. It's normal. Just go and have a cold bath and the weakness will go away. Okay, um, are you busy? I want to have a word with you. I hope there is no problem. You will be the one to know if you should tag it a problem or not. Mm, okay, I'm listening. Priska, I want to ask you a question and I want you to be very sincere about it. Okay. If I ask you to marry me today, what would be your response? Ha, ah, John, is it not too early for this question? This is part three in the afternoon. It is not early. I mean, I just moved into your house. Allow me to settle well, please. Settle well, how? We have always been talking about marrying each other. I asked the question so as to know if we should start the wedding preparation soon. I've always said yes to you that I'll marry you. So, there's really no need for this question. I don't like your response. I was expecting you to be happy that I have decided to make us official very soon. Well, sorry to disappoint you. I just have a lot on my mind, that's why. So, what are you saying? Should we proceed with the preparations? No, dear. Let's wait a little bit longer. For God's sake, Priska, what little more time do you need? I want to make you my wife already, so you can pack into my room. Please, enough of this conversation. I don't want to talk about it for now. I'll marry you when the time is right. Good evening, Charity. Oh, Mervyn, you're here already. I've been expecting you. Wow, it's nice to hear that coming from you. I'm not as wicked as you think. I know. I have already prepared your room. Go in and freshen up while I make you food. No, don't worry about the food. I have already eaten. No, now. You can't come to my house and not eat anything. I'm sorry, but I've already eaten. It took me a lot of time to cook just to welcome you. Will you let my handwork be in vain? I'm sorry, Charity, but I'm serious. I ate something before coming, so I'm still full. So you are here to work on a project with my husband at night? Exactly, and it will last for just three days. That will be fun. And what is funny about what I said? The fact that you'll be here in my house for three days is funny. Are you planning anything bad or good for me? You're acting weird. Why would I plan something bad for my husband's best friend? Where's Benjamin? I've been trying to get to him, but he's not picking up. Benjamin is sleeping. You will see him tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? We are supposed to work this night. My three days starts today. Oh, sorry. He slipped my mind. He will be awake this night. Hmm. Okay. Please, is my room the visitor's room? The first room by my left? Yes. That is where you'll be for three days. Thank you. God, what kind of problem is this? I wish there was a way I could go back to my house and never come back here. Now, how will I go to work? No water to brush my teeth. And no water to take my beat. How will I cope? Indeed, marrying a bad woman is worse than anything. She's so wicked and heartless. Only God knows what she has done to Benjamin. He's not picking his cause, and I haven't heard his voice since morning. I just pray we should finish this project on time, so I can go back to my house. Now let me think of how to go to work without taking my beat and brushing my teeth. Good evening, Patrick. What a pleasant surprise. Good evening, dear. So we finally meet after a long time. It's really been a long time. You are not usually around when I come visiting. That is Bella's handwork. She makes sure I am not around before inviting you over. <laughs> She's just trying to be protective. Maybe she doesn't want to annoy you by letting you see me. Annoy me, Ke. She once told me you don't like visitors in your house, especially when it has to do with her. I just want her to keep friends, that's all. That's cool. But that rule is not applicable to you. You are always welcomed in my house. Wow, that's really nice of you. You are not as bad as Bella paints you. Oh, she paints me bad. Hmm, not really bad. It's okay. You look very beautiful. More beautiful than her. I know so many people have said that. Thanks anyway. So can I see you privately this weekend? Why do you want to see me privately? Come on, Irene. You are not a child. Bella told me you need money. Yes, I need money to sort my bills and buy textbooks. If you come stay with me this weekend, I'll pay all your bills and still give you some money in case you want to buy all that things. This is funny. It's not funny. After spending the weekend with me, you don't have to pass through Bella to get money from me. For real? Yes. I'll make you very comfortable. Until you graduate. I have to think about it. There is nothing to think about. Give me your phone. Let me type in my numbers. Don't forget to call me. Okay. Take care.
Bro, sorry for not picking your calls. I just woke up. I'm so disappointed in you, Benjamin. How could you do this to me? What are you talking about? I got back from work a few minutes back. I ate, felt sleepy, I started to sleep. I just woke up, I saw your missed calls, I returned your calls, and you're accusing me of doing something to you. Don't play with me, man. You have been indoor for three days and three nights. You refused to pick my calls. You made a fool out of me. What? That is not possible. I got back from work a few minutes ago. You think this is a joke? You think this is funny? Wait until you get to work tomorrow. Guy, calm down first. You mean I've been sleeping for three days? Yes, you ruined everything. I waited for you so many nights for us to work on that project, but it never came out. This sounds strange to me. I woke up and I felt very weak. As I'm talking to you, I have a very massive headache. You mean you really don't have any idea that you were inside for three days? I swear, bro, I'm very surprised to know that I haven't been outside for three days. What could have made you sleep for so long? Do you take sleeping pills? Why would I do that when I know I had a project at hand? The only thing I ate when I came back was the food my wife gave to me. Shit! That wicked wife of yours. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Why would Charity do this to me? What would she gain by doing this? Guy, this is not the time to ask questions. Your job is at stake right now. Come to my house, let's talk. That is the problem. I tried opening the door a few minutes back, but it's locked. Man, this is bad. She did not only jog you, she also locked you inside. I can't believe my wife could be this wicked to this extent. Call her and make her open the door for you. Okay, I'll call her. Hey, mommy. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. You look so happy. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon to you too. Destiny, who is this young man besides you? Mom, this is the guy I told you about. The love of my life. Young man, you can have a seat. Thank you, ma. Destiny, excuse us. I want to have a private discussion with him. Mom, why now? I want to listen to everything you both discuss. Go inside. You will get to know whatever we discuss. I don't like this, so. Young man, what is your name? My name is John, ma. So you are the John that advised my daughter to sleep over at your place when you both are not married. Is that how your mother raised you? No, ma. I convinced her to go back home, but she insisted to stay. Just listen to yourself. Where are you from, Seth? I am from this state, ma. What plan do you have for my daughter? I like her, but I already told her I am not ready for any commitment. Just listen to yourself speak. At your age, you are not ready for any commitment. That is the truth, ma. What do you do for a living? I am an electrician. You are an electrician? Yes, ma. That is what I do for a living. Try God. Destiny, why have you decided to put me to shame? I end very well and I live in a comfortable apartment. Shut up your mouth! And you have the boldness to tell me you are not ready for any commitment with her? Sorry, ma. Just take a good look at this house. Does it look like a low-class family house? No, ma. It's obvious you are not in her class. You don't deserve her. She deserves someone more influential. Okay, ma. Let today be the last time you both will be together. Okay, ma. I don't want to ever see you with her again. Stay away from her. Okay, ma. Now leave my house. Okay, ma. Hello? Oga, why are you disturbing my life? I want to ask you a simple question, Charity, and I demand a sincere answer. What is it? I just hope it is a reasonable question. What happened to me and why did I sleep for three days straight? Look at this man, oh. How am I supposed to know why you slept for three days? Did you drug me or did you put sleeping pills in the food you gave to me? I'll leave you to answer that question. How could you do this to me, Charity? What did I ever do to you? Did I commit a crime by marrying you? You are asking what you did to me? Why are you this wicked? Let your mind take you back to what you did to me. Do I really deserve this? You made me stay back from work for three days. You deserve this and more. You thought you would slap me and get away with it, Abby? Come open the door for me. I have to go and explain myself at the office. You are not going anywhere. You remain there so that next time you know that hitting a woman is a punishable act. Charity, please. I'm very thirsty. I want to drink water. <laughs> so you can beg. 
That is your punishment. You will stay there for as long as I want. Dodo, how far now? Just leave me alone, Jerry. Ah, ah, my friend. What have I done now? You know I cannot leave you alone. Really? You abandoned me here for so long. Don't tell me you missed me. Of course I did. Especially now that I need a way of handling my stingy husband. Why? He has refused giving you what you want? Yes, he has refused getting me the phone I asked for. Why would he behave that way? I mean, I know him to be a stingy man, but not when it comes to you. Seriously, in my many years of being with Ade, I never knew he was this stingy. If he's stingy to you, then also be stingy to him. You cannot give it to him willingly when he cannot give it willingly. What do you mean I should not give it to him willingly? Come on now, you're a child. Of course, you know what I'm talking about. But what if I deny him access and he decides to get it outside? He won't. Don't you know the more you frustrate him, the more he will do what you want so as to stop the frustration? You have a point there. I have noticed that being gentle with Ade has earned me nothing but old clothes. Exactly. Just take a look at me. My husband takes good care of me because he knows he wouldn't survive it if I decide to frustrate him. <laughs> I can imagine. Your husband loves you so much. And I always pray to God to give me a perfect marriage just like yours. You will enjoy your marriage when you know you're right. Most of these men are very manipulative. They have to shine your eyes to get what you want. Exactly. You are really looking good, my dear. So how is business? Business is going well. I then employed some guests to work for me while I rest at home. Oh, that is so nice of him. Your husband is a good man. Let me get us something to drink. Hello? Guy, how far now? Why haven't you come to see me till now? We have a lot to discuss who. Will you believe if I tell you I'm still locked up in here? What's really going on? Why haven't you called her yet? I called her. I begged her to come open the door for me, but she refused. Man, this is very bad news because the CEO has given you from now to tomorrow to report to work or else you are fired. Oh my god, what do I do now? I can't lose my job now. Then you have to do something to get out of there. I have no idea. Please, I want you to talk to her mother. I believe the woman would have a way of convincing her to open the door. Don't you have a mother's number on your phone? I do, but her phone has been switched off for the past few days now. Hmm. Okay, send the address of her house to me. Thank you very much, bro. Anything I can always count on you. We what are friends for? I can't imagine losing my job all because of her. God forbid. There is no time to waste. Go and see her. I will send him address now. Since you have finally lost your mind. If you are back from wherever you went to, don't disturb my peace. How dare you report me to your mother? You should be glad I reported you to your mother instead of posting it on social media for the whole world to know how irresponsible you are. One thing I will not tolerate from you is name calling. I will call you as many names as I want because you are irresponsible. Okay, now that you have reported me to your mother, what value has it added to your life? At least, she has known the kind of husband you are to me. You lack common sense. I will still say it over and over again. I will not buy you a phone unless the old one is no longer functioning well. You lie, Ade. You must buy me that phone, whether you like it or not. Just imagine, you are standing up as if you want to fight me. If fighting you will give me what I want, then I am willing to do it. Oh yeah now, bring it on, and I will deal with you this evening. You wicked and heartless man. You don't even have children yet. You can't provide for the house. I am not wicked. If I was wicked, as you said, I would not have thought about building the house we will call our home soon. You can't fool me anymore. The salary you earn should be enough to build the house and also take care of me. Okay, fine. I'll get you a phone tomorrow. I am tired of your arguments. Good evening, Ma. Good evening to you. How may I help you? My name is Marvin. Benjamin sent me to you. Benjamin, I hope there is no problem. There is no problem. Actually, there is a little problem. Oh my God, is he okay? Is he getting fine? Don't worry, Ma. It's not something serious. Can I sit, please? Yes, please sit. Thank you, Ma. So what is the problem? Benjamin has been trying to get to you, but your line is always off. 
That is true. My phone fell into a drum of water. I haven't been able to repair it yet. Hmm. Mommy, please, we need your help. I have been waiting for you to say what the problem is, but you're not saying it. Charity locked Benjamin in their room for many days. She has refused to open the door for him, and his job is at stake. Charity did what? Yes, ma. She drugged him and made him sleep for three days. He hasn't gone to work for the past few days now, and tomorrow is the last day for him. If he doesn't go to work tomorrow, he will be sacked. Oh my God. What kind of a daughter did I give birth to? But I hope Benjamin is fine. I'm not really sure because he hasn't eaten for a long time now and he complained of being weak. He might die if he's not urgently attended to. God forbid. He will not die in Jesus' name. This is not the time for prayer, ma. You have to talk to your daughter to release that man. He did nothing wrong by marrying her. Do you know where she is at the moment? I think she's at home. Okay, let me go see her in the house. Okay, but I won't come with you. I have some things to finish at home. Okay. Ah, mommy, you didn't call me, you'll be coming over. Do I have to pay a town crier to announce to the world that I will be coming over? At least a little phone call would have been enough. If you really care about me, then you would know that my phone got spoiled. I can't remember the last time you called to check on me. Come on, mom. You should know that even if I don't call you always, you're my mind. Where is your husband? I want to see him. I have something to discuss with him. My husband, uh, he, he traveled. He traveled to where? He went on a business trip. Since when did Benjamin start going to business trips? Ah, mom, it's been long now. You don't live here with us, so you won't know. If what I heard is true, then I am highly disappointed in you. What are you talking about? Thanks. What did you hear? I didn't raise you this way, Charity. When did you ever see me lock your father in a room and prevent him from going to work? Oh, I guess you've heard about it already. Don't let me place on a cause on you this evening. Go in there and release your husband. I will not release him. He crossed the line. What line did he cross? Is it still about the slap? Yes, it is about the slap and it will always be about the slap. He crossed the line and I am not done teaching him a lesson. And you think this is the perfect way of handling the situation? That is the perfect way, mom. What if he dies in the process? He hasn't eaten anything for days now. Have you no conscience? If you don't want him anymore, why not leave instead of torturing him this way? He will not die. Please, my daughter, release him. If he gets sacked from work, how will you survive? I hate tomorrow is the last day. Who told you? Don't worry about who told me. Release him, please. You have taught him a love lesson. I will only do it because of you. I know. Thank you. Just go and release him later. Hmm. Okay, please don't forget. You wicked woman. Don't ever try to run your mouth with me, as I will lock you in here again. Marrying you was my greatest mistake ever. <laughs> Do I look like I care with what your opinion is? Why are you so heartless? Now I know who you truly are. This is to serve as a lesson to you. Never you mess with me again. I never did anything bad to you. I always try my best to avoid you. You never did anything bad to me? Really? So who slapped me? Oh, I see. So all this is about the slap, huh? Yes, it's all about the slap. And I'll do more if you try it next time. You have drawn the battle line. Pray I don't lose my job else. Are you threatening me? You can call it whatever you want. I have tolerated you for so long. This is the height of it. You have tolerated who? I am the rightful person to use that word. Pray very hard I don't lose my job and stay away from my way or else I will deal with you in a way you will not understand. This your marriage is giving me goosebumps about marriage. How do you mean? I'm just wondering if this is how marriage life is. Then I don't want it. <laughs> you should look at your face right now. I'm serious bro. I'd rather stay single than pass through what you are passing through now. Don't say that bro. Marriage is sweet. And it is sweeter if you are married to the right person. If marriage is sweet, why is yours bitter? Or are you trying to tell me you are not married to the right person? Our marriage was never like this. Charity was the best thing that ever happened to me. Our first few years of marriage was the best. So what changed? Why did she turn out this way? Greed. When I married her, I had a well-paying job. We were very comfortable. I provided her with whatever she wanted until she got used to the extravagant life. And then, one day, I got sacked from work. Why were you sacked? Did you steal from them? No. The managing director had a little problem with the CEO. So he was sacked with everyone that he employed. And I was among. Men. That was bad. 
Yes, and that was how my marriage crumbled. I stopped getting her the things she wanted and concentrated on things that she needed. She changed drastically. Hmm, now wow, that is so bad of her. I'm just grateful I didn't lose my job again. I don't know what I would have done if the CEO kicked me out. But at least you got suspended. It is better than being sacked. I guess the CEO pardoned you because of your hard work. I guess so. That man is indeed a good man. I'm happy for you, bro. So what are your plans now that you have been released? I don't know. I would like to come stay with you for a while. That is not a problem. At least to avoid you doing anything crazy to her. Thank you, bro. The rat sea of life. My wonderful friend, I've been waiting for you since morning. Sorry that I had some things to settle first before coming. I want to take you out for lunch. I hope you haven't eaten anything. Wait. Actually, my husband invited me over to his office for lunch. You haven't gone yet? No, not yet. I decided to come to see you first. That is nice of you. I will treat you to lunch today. Okay, so what is the celebration all about? <laughs> what do you mean? So can't I take my friend out again? It's been ages you did this. If I remember clearly, I was the last person that took you out. And that was because your husband opened a business for you. Exactly. So there has to be a reason. Why are we going out? Okay, you got me. Actually, my husband got me a new phone after all the fiasco. He got you a new phone? Wow. That is good news. I'm glad you followed my advice. Yes, yeah, so my sister. I denied him access to me and he was forced to get me a phone. What kind of phone did he get you? Technopop 5. He said he got it at the rate of 45,000. Technopop 5? What kind of cheap phone is that? Is this what you told him to buy for you? No, I didn't tell him the kind of phone to get for me. This is nonsense. I would advise you don't accept this from him. But I already accepted it. You have to return it. This guy is indirectly telling you that you are cheap. I don't think that is his intention. Stop making excuses for this man. If he can't get you the latest iPhone phone, then he should forget about it. You are right. Using an iPhone has always been my dream. Then this is your chance, baby girl. Return this phone and pressurize him to give you an iPhone. Yes, that is exactly what I will do. Good afternoon, mom. Afternoon, my dear. Where are you going to all dress like this? I want to go and visit a friend. I will be back in the evening. Which friend are you going to visit? Because from all I can remember, you have no friend. I want to go and see my fiance. He called to tell me he's not feeling too well. You have a fiance? Where were you engaged? I can't remember, but I am engaged. <laughs> this is so funny. You can't remember when you were engaged. I have to get going. Time is not on my side. Wait. I hope the fiance you are talking about is not that proper. Don't call him names, mom. So he is the one you're going to see? Yes, he is the one. How many times have I told you to stay away from him? Mom, the earlier you know I can't stay away from him, the better for us. Shut up your mouth! You should know better than to tell me to shut up. I am not Mabel and I will not take it. What has come over you, Destiny? Why are you so stubborn? No, Ma. I should be the one to ask you that question. Why do you want to take away my happiness from me? I'm just looking out for you. You deserve better. Actually, I have someone that will be a perfect match for you. I am not in the mood for all this. Hello? Who am I speaking with? What is that supposed to mean? Don't you have my number on your phone? I will ask again and if you don't tell me I'm speaking with, I will end this call. This is me, Charity. Which charity is this? What is all this now? How many charity do you know? I know so many charity and it seems you're not ready to talk. When you are ready to talk, you call me back. It is me, your wife, Charity. <laughs> and you are so proud to call yourself my wife. So you acted that way just to make fun of me? I'm very busy right now. I give you just five minutes to talk. Where are you? Why haven't you come home for the past few days? Where I am is none of your business. The most important thing now is that I've left the house for you. 
How can you leave the house like that when you know there is nothing in this house? Charity, have you no shame? You locked me for almost a week and now you expect me to give you money for food. So what is your duty as a man? So my duty as a man is to endure, Abby. Come back home, Benjamin. This house is too big to be alone. You can have the house all to yourself. I won't be home for a while. For how long? For as long as I want. You know I don't care whether you are home or not. All I want is for you to do the needful. You must be out of your mind to think I'll give you a dime from my pocket. You think I don't know where you are? If you know what is good for you, do the needful. Or what will you do? I will come over to that place myself. I dare you to come here, Charity. I will leave self-respect aside and deal with you mercilessly. We will see. Good morning, Mommy. Mabel, where have you been? I have been in my room since, Ma. Shut up your mouth. You think I didn't see you when you ran in through the backyard? Um, I, I, I went to get something at the supermarket. Show me the things you went to get. Actually, I went to visit a friend. She wasn't feeling too well, so I went to see her. Uh-huh. So now you leave the house and come back anytime you want, Abby? No, ma. It's just today I went out. I have always been in the house. I see. I wanted to go get something at the supermarket, but I noticed that 2,000 Naira is missing from my purse. Sorry about that, ma. What do you mean, sorry about that, ma? Have you seen my 2,000 Naira? Um, I... I... Answer my questions. Have you seen my 2,000 Naira? Mommy, please. I am very sorry for stealing your money. How dare you touch my purse? You have the guts to steal my money? Mommy, please, I am very sorry. I used it to save a life. Really? You used my money to save a life, Abby? Please forgive me. There was nothing I could do. It's okay. Shabby, you used the money to save a life. No problem. The only thing I want you to do now is to pack your things and leave my house. Let the person also save your life. Mommy, please. Don't do this to me, please. I don't have anywhere to go. You this ungrateful child. I give you five minutes to leave my house. If I come back and you are still here, I won't be blamed for my action. Ade, I hope you're not planning to spend the night in this room. And who are you to tell me where to sleep or where to not sleep? I don't want you in this room. I can't sleep with you on the same bed until you get me the iPhone I asked for. What nonsense are you saying? So I should leave the room for you all because I did not get an iPhone for you? That is what I want and you must do it for me. You this woman, I don't know where your sense is. Do not provoke me this night. There will be no peace for you in this house until you get me the phone I want. How could you be this callous? I'm trying my best to make you happy and all you can do is stand there and call me callous. Yes. You are callous. You only think about yourself. I know if you were the one that needed the iPhone, you would have gotten it since. How many times have you seen me change my phone? This is the same phone I used since last year. I bought a new phone for you and you ungratefully returned it. I don't like the phone. Simple. Change it. This will be the last time I will tell you to take that phone. Else, tomorrow morning, I will take it and give it to someone in the streets. And how is that my business? All I want is an iPhone. Stop treating me like a slave. You think using this attitude of yours will make me get you a new phone? You better wake up from your slumber because it will not happen this time around. Leave this room now. I don't want to spend the night with you on the same bed. Madam, if there's anyone to leave this room, it is you. No problem. I believe you can have the room all to yourself. Please go away. Your attitude disgusts me. Suit yourself. Thank you. Hello. Good evening, Dad. This voice sounds familiar. Maybe, is this you? Yes, Daddy. Please, where are you? Is everything okay? Are you alright? I am not okay at all. There is a big problem. What is it? Mom chased me out of the house today. And I'm talking to you now. I am using my friend's phone to call you. I am stranded. What? Why? Um, I... I... Talk to me. Why did it change? You're out of the house. I stole mom's money to help a friend out. You did what? Why did you have to steal her money now? You should have asked him for it. I am sorry, daddy. 
It was urgent. I couldn't wait for you to come back from work. I am really sorry. It's okay. So, where are you now? I'm in Bella's house now. Okay, I'm coming there to see you. Send the address to me now. Okay, Dad. What did you say? He said he's coming over to see me. I pray he finds a way to help you out. In fact, help us out. Me too. What is surprise? I know, right? I just wanted to surprise you today. What if I wasn't at home? I knew you'd be at home. You are always at home on Saturdays. How are you doing? I'm fine, my dear friend. Please have a seat. Thank you, dear. How is business going? Everything is under control. I guess you came to show me your new iPhone. Which iPhone? The one that Ade has refused to buy for me. So up till now, you're not able to make him buy you an iPhone? My dear, that man is becoming more stubborn by the day. I don't even know what to do anymore. I guess that is the reason why you came to see me today. Yes, now. Like I'm so tired of the whole thing. He behaves as if he doesn't care. Of course, he doesn't care because you are not giving him a reason to care. What do you mean? I have tried everything in my power to make him get me the phone. But he's proving stubborn. You haven't tried everything, my dear. There is something you haven't done yet. What is that? Try to leave him. Tell him you will leave him if he doesn't get you the phone. Ah, Charity. You know I can't do that now. What if he agrees for me to leave him? Why would you say that? Don't you know your husband? Don't you know the level of love he has for you? I love my husband so much. I wouldn't want to use that pattern. It might get out of hand. Then you are not ready to have an iPhone because if you are, you will do everything possible to make him scared and get you the phone. Hmm. Okay, I will just try it and see. I know he loves me. That's good. Try it and see. And you will thank me later. Okay. So what about your husband? I haven't seen or heard him since I came. He went on a business trip. He'll be back next week. Wow. That's nice. My regards to him when he comes back. Okay, dear, I will. So what can I offer you? You can offer me anything you have. Okay, I'm coming. Charity, what are you doing in my house? Are you surprised to see me? Where is my husband? Excuse me, do I look like your husband's keeper? Don't waste my time, Melvin. You know what I'm capable of doing. I don't want you to insult me. You are my friend's wife, so please don't force me to cross the line. The line which you haven't crossed already, accommodating a married man in your house, is the greatest line you have crossed. Leave my house. I don't want to banter words with you. I want to repeat myself again. Go in there and bring my husband now. Don't you have your husband's phone number? Why not call him and leave me alone? I give you five seconds to go in and bring my husband, else you will regret my actions. Benjamin went out to get something down the road. Okay, I will sit and wait for him. No, you can't sit in my house. In fact, leave my house now. I want to speak to my husband. See, I will arrest you too. You barging into my house to cause nuisance is enough reason for me to put you behind bars. Oyana, put me behind bars. Shebi, not only you sabi English. I won't repeat myself again. Leave my house, Charity. You are not welcome here. I'm really surprised you called this a house, but no problem, I'll leave. When he comes back, tell him I'll give him from now to tomorrow evening to return home. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening, my dear. I hope she didn't hurt you. Not at all. I left when she told me to leave. Had it been I waited for a second more, I don't know what she would have done to me. Good evening, sir. Welcome. Good evening, my dear. Are you my best friend? The one she stole the money for? I'm really sorry about that, sir. I didn't know she got the money through that means. It's okay. The deed has already been done. But maybe don't try such this time. I'm not happy about it. I am sorry, Daddy. I promise it won't happen again. I guess this is an opportunity for you to leave the house for good. Leave the house to where? That is the problem. I am stranded. I can't stay here. My friend is staying with her fiancé. I never said you should stay here. But apart from her, don't you have any other friend you can squat with for now? I don't. She's the only friend I have. I have a place we can stay. My sister is staying alone. We can go stay with her for the meantime. Irene? Are you sure she would let me stay there? 
I will talk to her. I believe she would consider us. The reason why I want you to stay somewhere is because it will take a little time before the house. I want to rent for you a set. I understand, Dad. Like she said, she will talk to her sister and we can go stay there for some time. Okay, what about your phone? I tried your number. It was switched off. Yes, mom didn't let me take anything from the house. The phone is still in the house. My clothes and other properties of mine. It's okay. You have to forget about those things. I'll get you a new phone too. But how will I get to you if I want to speak with you? You can get to me through the number I called you with. Okay, my dear. Wow, thank you very much, Daddy. I really appreciate all you've done for me. You don't have to thank me. It is my responsibility to take care of you. Thank you, Dad. What is your name? My name is Bella. Okay, Bella. Please take care of her for me. I have to go now. No problem, sir. Thank you. All right. Wow. See who we have here, the almighty Benjamin himself. Why did you go to Melvin's house and cause his sin? Is that what he told you? That Melvin is a liar. Shut your mouth, Charity. Why did you go to his house and embarrass him? Eh, hey, yeah. I never knew he would be scared to the point of reporting me to you. Are you not ashamed of yourself? If you are not ashamed, I'm ashamed of you. Don't tell me you came back home to tell me you are ashamed of me. I came to offer this little advice of mine. Stay out of my way to avoid getting hurt. Who will hurt me, you? <laughs> I should be the one to say those words to you. I won't repeat myself again. I've had enough of your nonsense and I won't take it anymore. Thank your God you came back like I said. I think so you need a fear. Whatever problem we have is between the both of us. Don't drag Melvin into it. As long as he doesn't mind his business, I will drag him into it the more. You are one mistake I am regretting to now. Wow, thank you for the compliment. You can have the house all to yourself. I won't be coming back for some time. No way, you're not going anywhere until you give me money to take care of myself. Until when you decide to come back. You must be out of your mind. Not even a dime will leave my pocket. Good evening, my love. Welcome, baby. How was work today? It was a bit stressful, so I had to come back early. How are you doing? I'm fine, dear, but I'm just worried. What is it? I hope it's not about me. I'm worried about us. Talk to me, dear. What is the problem? You told me Destiny agreed to give you the 20 millionaire, but up to now, you haven't said a word about it. You don't have to worry about that, my love. I called her yesterday and she assured me she will give us the money. She's taking too long. Destiny has never disappointed me before. I believe she will give me the money. Mm, if you say so, I'll wait. Have you had something to eat? Yes, I have, but I need some money. What do you need money for? Am I not providing everything you need in this house? You are, but I need money for my personal need. It is not everything I'll ask you for. So how much do you need? 50,000 naira. What is it with you and 50,000 naira? That is literally the least of the amount you ask me for. I rarely ask you for more, so anytime I ask for money, you should always know that it's 50,000 naira I want. Yes, ma. Noted. So when should I expect it? Are you in a hurry to use it? Yes, no. I'd like to go for shopping tomorrow morning. It's okay. I will transfer the money to you later this night. Okay, dear. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Did you cook anything today? Yes, I did. Go and freshen up while I set the table. Okay, dear. Finally, you are here. Why did you call me to come here? Are you not happy to see me? I mean, it's been ages. I take it that Bella delivered the message I sent through her. What messages are you talking about? Have you agreed to spend the weekend with me? Of course not. I thought we talked about this before. So why then did you invite me to come here? I want to have a word with you. Please sit. I hope whatever you want to say is reasonable. Patrick, please. I need a favor from you. What favor? My school fees is due for payment. And my house rent is also due. I need some money to go for shopping too. <laughs> what am I? Your money making machine? It's not like that now. You know you are the only person we have now. 
You know what to do to get what you want. Stop playing ignorant about it. Patrick, please, things are hard for us. Bella told me that you left the house for a very long time now. Oh, really? So she told about that one, but didn't tell you the other message? Okay, fine, she did. But my answer is still no. Okay, then. You have my number, in case you change your mind. Are you going back to your house now? I won't be going back for some time. I need some space. It's not like Bella needs you anyway. After all, she has another company in the house. She has another company in my house. She brought her friend to my house to stay with me, but I said no, and I believe she took her to your house. What? Bella did what? If you think I am lying, go back to the house and check. She has the guts to take someone to my house. I am not telling you for you to make trouble. There is no point being here. You can call me when you've made up your mind. Patrick, please now. Have a nice day. Hey, baby. Welcome, my love. What took you so long? Sorry, dear. Traffic was hectic. How are you doing? I'm not fine at all. I missed you so much. I missed you too. At least I'm here now. How about your mom? Did she know you came to see me? No, my mom and I haven't been talking for a while now because of you. Really? Is it that serious? Yes, it is. I don't just want to talk to her for now. Till when it's time to get the money from her. No, dear. You don't have to keep malice with your mom because of me. Please try and settle whatever it is with her. It is obvious she doesn't want my happiness. Because if she does, she would accept you into the family. Babe, don't forget we are not even making plans to get married yet. But you said you want the both of us to run away together. Yes, I do. But my point is, you should try and settle whatever it is with your mom, please. I would only talk to her because of you. Please, my love, just do that for me. She's your mom after all. So what about your sister? I haven't seen her for some time now. She is in her room. I guess she's sleeping. I don't know why I don't like her till now. You have to learn to like her. She will be your sister in your soon. Have you had something to eat? Yes, I have, dear. Please try and hurry up to get the money. The earlier we run away, the better for us. I will. Just give me a little more time. Convincing my parents to give me 20 million naira is not a child's play. It's okay, I understand. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon, Destiny. How are you doing? I am fine, thank you. I hope there is no problem. There is no problem at all. I just want to have a conversation with you. Sit down. Thank you. Seriously, I'm surprised to see you today. You haven't greeted nor answered my greetings for the past few days now. I am sorry, Mom. I just realized I am being stupid. That's why I came to apologize. I'm not angry. I just hope that when you realize that that boy is not for you, it wouldn't be too late. He is not for me because he is poor. Yes, he will drag our family name in the mud. Anyway, I didn't come here to talk about him. He is not worth our fight. I have realized my mistake. I am sorry, mom. It's okay, my daughter. I'm not angry. I hope you are no longer seeing him. Not at all. I stopped seeing him a long time ago. I realized he is not in our class. Good. Don't worry. I will look for a more matured and responsible man for you. Thank you, mom. You don't have to thank me there. It's my responsibility to make sure you end up with a good man. Um, can I use your phone, please? I want to call a friend of mine, but I don't have enough airtime. It's okay, dear. You can make use of it. Thank you. Are you taking it out? Yes, I have to go copy out the number from my phone and then type it in your phone before making the call. No problem, be fast about it. Thank you. Yes, finally, I have gotten hold of her phone. Let me check her account balance first so I can know what to do. What? 30 million naira? So this is the only amount this woman has and she'll be shouting up and down that she has money. What do I do now? If I take out 20 million naira, she'll be left with just 10 million naira and it will be easy for her to find out. Why am I even concerned, Seth? It's not like I'll be here when she finds out. I don't have to disappoint John. I already promised him I'll give him the 20 million naira for us to run away. I have to transfer the money. She can always get more money from her parents. After all, very soon, I won't be here anymore. Yes, everything is just so easy. All I have to do now is to delete all evidence of the transaction. Wow, I never knew I could be this wise. <laughs> God.
What kind of woman did you give me? I no longer have peace of mind in my house. My marriage was never like this. How did we get here? Dorothy was never a problem. She was never a materialistic type. How did she turn out to be like this? I am now scared of staying in my own house to avoid her nagging and quarreling. I'm just tired of this marriage. It is no longer interesting. It is no longer what it used to be. I try my best to build it, to make her see reason with me, but it seems she's adamant in her decision, to be a thorn in my flesh. How do I make her see reasons with me, that our future is more important than any material things right now? Maybe she no longer loves me, but I love her so much. I don't want to have a broken home. Oh God, help me to fix my home. Maybe you are welcome to your new house. Wow, thank you very much, Dad. This is really beautiful. Yes, it is. Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate everything you have done for me. Come on, neighbor. I have told you times to that number, not to always say those words. I am doing my responsibility as a father. I miss our house so much. I know you do, but with time, you will get used to this place. How is mom and Destiny? Amanda is fine. I haven't seen Destiny in a long time now. Hmm. I just hope she is fine, wherever she is. Please sir, would it be okay if I squirt with Mabel? That question is left for Mabel to answer. It is her house now and not mine. Mabel, what do you say about that? Babe, you know you don't have to ask such a question. You are like a sister to me. So you are very free to stay with me. This is our house now and not just my house. Oh, thank you very much, sis. I appreciate it. Come on. I know you would have done the same if you were in my shoes. Okay, ladies. I have to go now. Okay, thank you. And be careful. I will transfer some money to you when I get home. And next time, I will come with a new phone and SIM card for you. Thank you. I have something very important to discuss with you when next I come. Okay, dad. Thank you and take care. Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. Yes, it is. I love it here already. Mom, I can't still believe you used my phone to call him. Why won't I call him? Do you think I am comfortable with the way the both of you are fighting all the time? I had already told you who started the fight. What is the need of inviting him here? I want to hear his own side of the story. And then what happens after that? Good evening, mommy. Good evening, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, ma. And you? I am fine. Won't you greet your husband? Mom, please don't disturb my peace. Don't worry, mom. I don't need anyone's greeting. Benjamin, please sit down. I want to have a little conversation with you. Please, mom. I hope what you want to discuss with me is not about that woman. Why are you referring to your wife as this woman? Shabi, you've seen what I was talking about. Shut your mouth. Don't talk when I'm talking. Mom, please. I was really busy when you called me. I would like to go back to what I was doing. Are you both trying to tell me that you are comfortable with the way things are in your marriage? I'm very comfortable this way. I don't want to die before my time. So what are you trying to say? Are you accusing me of killing you? Guilty conscience. Did I mention your name? Do I have to wait until you mention my name before I react to the trash you say about me? Staying under the same roof with you is always a big turn off for me. <laughs> Mr. Man, those lines were meant for me. You don't know how much I hate your presence. You are nothing but a crazy woman. I wonder what I saw in you in the first place. Enough of this, both of you. What is wrong with you both? Why are you both acting like children? Mommy, don't stress yourself, please. Reserve the little energy to take care of yourself. This is not what it. Look at him acting all nice. Or are you trying to show me you love my mom more than me? Charity, stop it. This is your husband. Show him some respect. Husband, my foot. With due respect, ma. I am sorry, I have to go back to where I came from. Benjamin, please sit down. Let's settle whatever issues both of you have. This is not healthy at all. I'm sorry, ma. I have to stay where I stay to regain my sanity. I choose peace of mind over anything in this life. Mom, let him go. After all, he's of no use to me. Charity, I am highly disappointed in you. Who would have thought you would grow up to be this way? Take care of yourself, ma. And have a safe journey on your way back. <laughs> Baby, you are awake. I was awake for about 30 minutes ago. Okay, I went out with Destiny. She begged me to drop her at home. You dropped her at home? Did her mom see you? Not at all. I stopped a few miles away from my house. Okay, so what did she come here for? Any good news? 
Yes, there is. Wow, really? After such a long time? As in, eh, I almost gave up, Seth. Oh, thank God you did not give up. So how much did she give you? She gave me the complete money. And she wanted us to run away immediately. But I said no. Thank God you did not agree to it. Now that we have the money, what are we waiting for? Let's look for one of these countries and go to. Isn't it too fast? How long did you tell her to give you? I told her a week or two. You have to transfer the money to me so I can add it to the other ones I saved. No, don't worry. I will process everything myself. What's that supposed to mean? I thought we talked about this before. I changed my mind. It is still the same thing. Whether I am with the money or you are with the money. After all, you are going to the same place. I already sent like a million naira in my account. Transfer the 20 million naira to me. I'll process the things myself. It's okay. I don't want this money to bring problem between us. Good. I guess you have my account number already. Yes, I do. See, Priska, I just want to trust you. That is it. Don't betray me. Why would I betray you? Have I given you any benefit of doubt? I'm always in this house with you. You know my in and out. You have access to me and everything that concerns me. Why would I betray you? It's okay. I was just saying, I know you will not betray me. Good. Let me get a bottle of wine. This calls for celebration. <laughs> Hey, Chacha. Dorothy, what are you doing here? I don't understand. Am I not welcomed here? You are. But you should have called me before coming. Well, have you forgotten that I don't have a phone? You mean your husband hasn't gotten you a new phone, Tina? He hasn't, so, my dear. What about your old phone? I smashed it on the floor just for him to get me a new one. Then you have no choice but to manage the new one he got for you. I gave it back to him now. I told him to get me an iPhone, so I returned the new one to him. Ah, now, wow. So like this, now, you are phoneless. Charity, my marriage is crashing. I don't know what to do. Seriously, I didn't know Ade could be so heartless. Is it that bad? My dear, it is worse. He has refused to give me feeding money. In fact, we don't sleep on the same bed. We sleep in separate rooms. This is one reason why I thank God for giving me Benjamin. My husband will never do such a thing to me. My sister, you are lucky. As I'm talking to you now, I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Hey, yeah, sorry about that, my dear friend. Please, did you cook anything, even if it's a little? I'm very hungry. Dorothy, I am really sorry, my dear. There is no food in this house. My husband has stopped me from cooking. He said he doesn't want me to stress myself, so we eat out almost every day. What about money? Please just give me whatever you have. I promise to pay back as soon as possible. Yes. I have some money, but my bank account has been blocked. Why? Someone tried to hack my account because of the millions that is there. So I observed it on time and reported it to the bank manager. So they blocked it. Hey, uh, sorry about that. No, I should be the one to say that. Don't worry, God will take care of you. Amen, my friend. Thank you, my friend. What's up, sis? You can sleep, eh? And it's not even up to two hours I slept. Who told you it's more than four hours? Mabel, you lied, eh? My dad came to visit. He left not quite long ago. I know. I heard his voice. I was just too tired to come out. I hope you are okay now and the headache is gone. Yes, I'm fine. I want to ask you a question, Bella. Okay, go ahead. If you are given an opportunity to go to school or start a business for yourself, which would you go for? I would choose business, of course. Why are you asking? You will choose business. Why? Babe, I don't want to go to school. School is not for everybody. I choose business because I want to make money. My dad asked what you would like to do, so I said you would like to go to school. It's not bad. Just telling you that what I would like to do if it's business. My dad was serious when he asked me that. He wants to enroll you in school. Really? Oh my God, that man is just too nice. So what's your take on it? Are you interested? Would I be rude if I say I don't want to go to school? Of course not. It is your decision and it will be out of place if you force you to do what you don't like. Thank you. Don't worry. I will talk to my father to give you some money to start the business. Thank you so very much. I appreciate this. Oh.
My sweet potato. You're happy because of the good news I told you. Why wouldn't I be happy to hear such news? I know, right? And you got the alert of this transfer I made to you. Yes, baby. I got the alert this morning. Thank you very much. You don't have to thank me, dear. This is for our own good. I know. I still have to thank you for bringing up the idea of the 20 million naira. Else, I would have been getting 50,000 naira all the time, which I was tired of already. I didn't even plan for it. Everything just worked out in my favor. That's my girl. So what's the plan? What plan? We agreed to get married as soon as the money is available. Oh, sorry, it skipped my mind. Are you sure this 20 million would be enough? Ha, babe, it will be more than enough. Plus the other money I gave you to save for our wedding. Okay, that's true. We still have some money left in my account. So how is it going to be? How would you like us to rush everything before John finds out? Don't worry. Everything is planned out already. By this time next week, you'll be a married woman. Wow, I love the sound of that. I can't wait. Thank you for this great opportunity. Baby, stop thanking me. I did it for us and not just for you alone. Let me get you something to drink. Good evening, mommy. Good evening, my dear. How are you doing? Mommy, I'm not fine at all. What is the problem? What happened to you? Benjamin has ruined me. He has scattered my heart into pieces. Calm down and talk to me. What is the problem? What happened to Benjamin? I, I was in the house this morning when his lawyer came with divorce paper. Sit down. Let's talk about it. Does he hate me that much? Does he not love me anymore? So, he hasn't been to the house since that day? No, he hasn't. As if that is not enough. He served me the divorce papers. You deserve it. You deserve everything Benjamin is doing to you right now. I warned you, didn't I? Mom, please don't make me feel worse. I'm feeling bad already. I don't want to lose my husband. You have to lose him more. That boy has tried for you. He has endured you for many years. No, don't say that, please. I want him back. I don't know what came over me. You want him back because he served you divorce papers. No, mom, I've realized my mistakes and I've realized how much I love him. You made the house a living hell for him, all because he couldn't afford the things he got for you when he had a better job. I miss him. He hasn't been home for a very long time. I can't lose him. I don't want to lose him. I hope you know that I am not the one you should be begging. I know. I came to you because I want to talk to him for me. I will not do that. The same way you chased him out of the house, use that same way to bring him back. I didn't chase him out of the house, mom. Tell that to Benjamin and not me. Please help me. I can't. Settle your marital problems yourself. Baby, where are you going to? All dressed up. Let me get you something to drink. I want to visit a friend down the road. What is going on? You have been going out too much these days. Is it not going to go out or am I a prisoner in your house? I didn't say so. But you're acting strange. Is it because of the money or is there something you're not telling me? Hold it dear John. What is that supposed to mean? Don't I have the right to do what I want to do anymore? I'm sorry, I didn't say that. So how is the preparation going? Preparation for what? Our traveling now. Oh, sorry, I forgot. It, it's going smoothly. Hmm. This one that you forgot, are you sure you are preparing for it at all? Of course I am. Please, I have to go now. I'm running late already. Where exactly are you going to? Let this be the first and the last you ask me about my movements. Excuse me. Where exactly is she going to? I'm suspecting this Priska. I have to find out where she has been going to every day. Let me follow her. Dorothy, where are you going to with your luggage? Where does it look like I am going to? I am packing out of your house. Why? Ade, I am tired of your nonsense. Really? And you think I am happy with your nonsense? I just realized that we are not meant to be. This is hilarious. All this drama is because I refuse to get you an iPhone. This marriage is not supposed to be one-sided. I attend to your needs. Why can't you attend to mine too? 
how many of my needs have you attended to? When was the last time you did the chores in this house? I toy day and night just to make sure I complete our building project so we can pack out of this rented apartment but you make it seem like I'm not doing enough. Yes, you're not doing enough. Your best is not good enough. You think only about yourself. What changed you? You were never like this. I will not get tired of saying this over again. You changed me, Ade. In what way? You were a very understandable and sweet wife, but all of a sudden, things turned bad. Maybe if you had done what I wanted, things wouldn't have been this bad. Now it's too late. So you want to leave the marriage? Yes, I want to leave the marriage. You don't deserve me. I will go to a man that deserves me better. Okay then, I can't stop you. You are a grown woman and you can make decisions for yourself. Is that all you have to say? All I have to say is good luck to you wherever you go. And you too. You haven't still told me the reason why you invited me here. How have you been? You have no right to ask me such question. It's not like you care anyway. Don't say that, please. You know I care a lot about you. I hope you sign the papers my lawyer gave to you. Benjamin, do you really want to leave me? Yes, I want to leave you for good. My peace of mind matters a lot to me. Don't worry, I won't take this house away from you. The house is yours. I'll start a new life somewhere else. Benjamin, please. I know I've wronged you deeply. Please think twice about this. Why are you begging me? I thought this was what you wanted too. Yes, this is what I wanted. But when you left, I realized how important you were to me. I felt like a part of me was gone. I was blinded by material things. And it made me feel you were not doing enough. I failed to see your effort in taking care of our home. Why are you doing this? Because I saved you the divorce papers. No, there is a saying that says, you don't know the value of what you have until you lose it. Now I know your value and I don't want to lose you. The last time you did this, I fell into your trap and you ended up dragging me and locked me inside the house for many days. I will not fall into your trap again this time. I swear this time around is different. I am a changed person now. Charity, why are you on your knees? What are you doing here? I left my husband like you suggested. So I want to spend some time with you in your house. Thank God your husband is here. So you can talk to him on my behalf. Wait, Charity advised you to leave your husband. Yes. <laughs> this is really funny. I never knew she was grooming another woman to break her home, just like she was doing. What are you talking about? Tarazi, please help me beg my husband. He wants to leave me. Why does he want to leave you? Isn't he the perfect husband that got you everything? He got you a car, a new phone, opened a business for you, and got you beautiful clothes and jewelries. So what went wrong? Tarazi, did you tell her I got you all those things? Tarazi, I'm sorry. I wasn't real. That was the kind of husband I dreamed to have. What? You and your husband were the true definition of perfect love. You were contented with what he gave you, and you made me feel like a bad wife that wanted more from my husband. So I had to do something to make it look like I was also in a perfect marriage. Oh my God. I can't believe this. So where did you get all those things you showed me? I stole his 300,000 naira. I used it to get the things I show you. I rented the car and the iPhone. Some of those things were not mine. How could you, Charity? You scattered my marriage. No, you scattered your marriage yourself. You choose to believe what your fellow woman told you. You should have focused on your marriage and support your husband, but you chose to leave. Chai, I am finished. You better go back and beg your husband now that it is not too late. Charity, you are a very bad friend. God we judge you. Baby, please give me one more chance. I promise to make it right. I forgive you. Let's try this one more time. Thanks, my love. John, why are you sitting on the floor? What are you doing here? What do you mean, what am I doing here? Am I not welcome in the house? Just go away. This is not the right time to be here. What is going on? Why haven't you been picking my calls? What about what we planned? How many times will I tell you to go away? This is not the right time to talk. I am not going anywhere, John, until you tell me what the hell is going on. I have been duped. Who duped you and what did they dupe you of? Destiny, I am sorry. Sorry for what? We have been duped. 
Talk to me now. You are getting me scared. Priscal duped me of the 20 million naira. What? She took away everything. Then call her. Since she's your sister, you should know where she is. She is not my sister. What? Priska is not your sister. She was my fiancé. We were planning our wedding, but we didn't have enough money. So we decided to use you and get some money for ourselves. Che, I am finished. My 20 million naira. I didn't know that she was also planning her wedding with another man. <laughs> John, how could you do this to me? I trusted you. I trusted Priska too. But she betrayed me. I don't know how you want to do it, but I need my 20 million naira back. I don't know where to get the money from. As I am talking to you now, I don't have a dime. <laughs> I hate you, John. Day. Are you not living anymore? No, I don't want to live anymore. Why? Don't you have transport fare? Or are you here to shame me for not buying you an iPhone? No, please hear me out. Seriously, I don't know what you came back here for. <laughs> I love you. I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> what a sudden love. I have always loved you. I just needed a better life. This is hilarious. So nagging and insulting me every day was your own way of showing me you love me? I was deceived. I was made to believe that if you don't give me what I want like other men, you are not good enough. Before you left this house, you told me I don't deserve you and that you'll be going to the man that deserves you. Why not go ahead and meet him and leave me alone? I am tired of the drama. Don't you love me anymore? Don't you want this marriage to work anymore? I don't need an ungrateful woman. I need a woman that will appreciate me for the little things I do for her, no matter how small it is. I am that woman. I have been enduring with you since we got married. But you got tired of it on the way. Maybe that was God's way of showing me that you are not the woman I thought you are. <laughs> Please don't say that. You are hurting me. Do you know how many times you hurt me? Sometimes I will go to work and not be able to concentrate. Coming back to the house was always a bad idea for me because I knew I would be coming back to your nagging and insult. Please forgive me. I would change. I promise not to be that ungrateful woman anymore. What changed your mind from being that ungrateful woman? I thought you enjoyed being that woman. I have realized that this life is not what it seems it is. It is deeper than I thought. You have to go now. I already called your parents to take you when you get there. No, please. I don't want to go. I love you. I want to be here. You don't love me. The woman that loves her husband will never behave that way. I swear I love you. I don't know what came over me. It was the devil's handwork. It is always the devil's handwork. Stand up. Leaving you was one mistake. But not knowing your value was the biggest mistake. I am sorry. I regret my actions. I am ready to build our home with you. Please don't hurt me that way again. I cried a thousand times for you. I am sorry. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> what kind of life is this? Destiny, what is the problem? Have you been crying since you came back? <laughs> I am fine. I am not crying. What do you mean you are not crying? Am I blind? <laughs> Why are people so wicked? Is it now a crime to trust someone? Did someone betray you? Yes. John betrayed me. Which John are you talking about? The John you know. Wait. Don't tell me you were still seeing that boy. <laughs> I wish I'd listened to you. John has dealt with me terribly. I want you to stay away from that boy, didn't I? Yes, you did. I wish I'd listened to you. Now, can you tell me what he did? I don't know how you take it after listening to what I have to say. Is this about me? I thought this is about you. It is about the both of us. We have been used. This is funny. What connection do I have with that pooper? <laughs> he promised to marry me when we run away. He requested for some money to plan the whole thing. So I stole your money and g <laughs> gave it to him. You stole money? How dare you? 
I thought I was doing it for the right person. How did you steal? 20 million naira. You must be joking. Let me check my balance. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, mom. <laughs> Love made me do it. Hey, I am finished. Destiny, you have killed me. Oh, you have killed me. What is going on here? Why are you shouting? Destiny has killed me. Calm down and talk to me. What did she do? You stole my 20 million naira, Destiny. Destiny, is that true? <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I never knew he was going to betray me that way. So you stole your mother's money for a man? I loved him. I thought he would marry me. I'm so disappointed in you how you bring shame to this family. 30 million naira was all I ever had. And now I am left with just 10 million naira. Maybe I stole 2,000 naira and you chased her out. Now that Destiny has stolen 20 million naira, what should we do to her? Please forgive me. Hi, Daddy. Oh, my precious daughter. Welcome back. Thank you, Daddy. It feels so good to be home. Just look at you. I can't believe you are now a graduate. It wasn't easy, but God was on my side. I'm so proud of you, my dear. Thank you, Daddy. I told you that making you proud was my goal and I am glad I achieved that. So why didn't you stay there and get a job instead? As a first class graduate, so many hospitals want me to work for them. But I decided to come back to my hometown and work in one of the best hospitals here. That is so thoughtful of you. Your people need you the more. I miss you so much. How is mom and destiny? They are fine, but things are very hard with us. How come? Mom's parents are rich and you were working in one of the top companies. What happened? My dear, it's a long story. The company caught fire. What? Yes, so I was left with nothing. Her father stopped sending her money because he had to use the money he had to pay off the people and also invested in the company. Oh my god, this is the worst news ever. I was left with no money. Amanda had 30 million naira. Destiny stole 20 and we were left with 10. So I had to use the remaining 10 million naira to start a family business. Two months ago, I ordered some goods worth 5 million naira. And until today, I haven't seen the goods nor the money. Oh my god, dad, you really went through a lot. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to tell you. I want you to focus on your studies and make me proud. I paid your school fees and other things through the little business, so it has not been easy. Did mom know that you enrolled me in school? No, that is the only secret I kept from her up till today. It's okay, daddy. I'm here now. I have a very good job and my salary is 300,000 naira per month. I will change your story just like you changed mine. I'm very proud of you, my daughter. Did you see Bella when you came? Yes, she stepped out to get something. Oh my god, Mabel, you are back. I missed you so much, Bella. You are not looking bad at all. Oh, please don't flatter me. You are not looking bad either. So now it is done and dusted. Yes, baby. You can say that again. The real also has started. Welcome home. How have you been? All oh, thanks to your father. A few days after you left, he gave me some money to start a business for myself. And now I live very comfortable. I'm currently building my house. Wow. Congratulations, dear. I'm happy for you. See who we have here. Wow. Patrick, longest time. You look so beautiful. It's been a long time I saw you. I know, right? I was trying to get my life together. So where are you going to? Maybe we should go somewhere and talk better. Oh no, there. I want to go back and check my car. It had a little problem, so I gave it to the mechanic to check it for me. You have a car? Yes, I do. In fact, my house is just a few miles away from here. It's still under construction. How come? How did you do it? Which native doctor helped you out? Native doctor? God and a little hard work did it for me. I can't believe that you could be a car owner today. Last I remember, you had no one but your mom and sister. Indeed, no one knows tomorrow. Thank you very much for all the things you did too. 
You motivated me to leave your house and become a better person. I've been looking for you everywhere. Why? Bella, I still love you. I want you back. Why? Because I have a car and a house. I need you back. Let's start all over again. I'm not interested, Patrick. I can't take back my vomit. I am not like a vomit. It's just a proverb. Look elsewhere. I have moved on with my life. Excuse me. Honey, are you not coming to the shop today? I feel very weak. Go with Destiny. I will join you later. What is the problem? I have a very massive headache and I feel weak. Let me rush to the chemist shop opposite us and get you some drugs. No, dear. Don't worry. I will be fine. This weakness has been going on for some time now. Let me get you some drugs, please. The money you will use in getting drugs will be enough to get some food stocks for the house. Your health is more important. I know, but I can't afford to waste money anyhow. It's okay. If you can't come to the shop today, you can rest. Okay. Destiny, come out. Let's go. I'm here already. Let's go. Is mom not coming? She's not feeling too well. She will come back next time. Ah, my chest. What is wrong with your chest? My chest. Ah, I'm having pain all over my chest region. Let us go to the hospital, Amanda. Your life is more important to me. Don't worry about me. Stop saying that for God's sake. Let me take you to the hospital before this gets out of hand. That is right. Your health is more important. <laughs> okay, let's go. Dad, I thought she's here for checkup. Why is she assigned to a bed? The doctor wants her to rest a little bit. She'll be here soon. All these female doctors, Seth, they will be behaving as if the world revolves around them. It is no good for all of us to be here while the shop is closed. Let's hear what the doctor has to say first, in case I have to deposit any money. Okay, that is true. Good morning, everyone. Mabel. You? I am the new assigned doctor for you. Doctor? Since when? Since the day you chased me out of your house. I can't believe this. This is like a dream to me. Where have you been? We searched everywhere for you. Why did you search for me? You and your mother never wanted me. What did you do to us? After you left, we lost everything. Our family went down the drain. My heart and my mind was pure. I did nothing to your family. I left you like you suggested. Honey, say something. Why are you keeping quiet? I have nothing to say. How did you become a doctor? Who helped you? Education helped me. I went to school, studied hard, made good grades, and graduated with a first class degree. And now I am a doctor. Ah, this is hard to believe. People of all people. Dad, you have been keeping quiet since. Were you aware of this? Yes. What? I saw something both of you didn't see in her. I saw her as a promising child with a bright future. So I decided to invest in her, and she made me proud. So you kept this away from me? I had no choice. You hated her. I saw the thing coming through. I knew she was a promising child. And that made me scared. So scared that if she was given the opportunity Destiny was given, she would have ashamed my daughter, and I didn't want that to happen. You were such a wicked woman. I feel so ashamed of myself. I wish I had gone to school when I had the opportunity. Mabel, I don't know if it is too late to ask for a chance in your life. Let me ask you a question. Why did you adopt me if you knew you would hate me? My husband and I were childless for so many years. We tried so many ways to have a child, all to no avail. So we decided to adopt since we could not conceive. You were three months old when we adopted you. Few months later, I got pregnant. I begged Fred to let us return you to the orphanage since we are expecting our own child. But he refused. I had no choice but to let you stay. And that was how the hatred started. I was a second choice to you. And I have always been a second choice to you. All thanks to your husband. I don't know what my life would have been without him. Mabel, remember we are sisters. Sisters, my foot. You never acknowledged me as your sister. <laughs> 
Fred, please beg her for me. I have searched for her so many years now to ask for her forgiveness or to know I failed. Bebe, my daughter, please forgive them. Everything happens for a reason. Take out positive things from the negative. Her hatred and maltreatment made you a strong woman you are today. I have always referred to her as mom. That is to show that I hold no grudge against her. I forgive you, Madam Amanda. If not for anything, for all the years you gave me a roof over my head and the food I ate for free. Thank you very much, my daughter. I have learned my lesson to love everyone, no matter who they are, because no one knows tomorrow. What about me? Please forgive me too. We are sisters after all. We are family and we will always be. This is the best moment of my life. So, Destiny, what would you like to do? I want to go to school. Now I believe that education is the key to success. I will sponsor you to any university of your choice until you graduate. Wow, thank you very much, sis. I really appreciate. Now, can we proceed with the checkup, Dr. Mabel? <laughs> sure.